how to live stream is the question of the day. I don't think I did. I'm live. We did it. Hell yeah. The I guess the audio might be a bit too loud, maybe? Nah, nah, nah. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right. Everything's working just fine, I see. Okay. Happy birthday, Crystal Chris. Hi, Crystal. Oh, Hi, Crystal. thank Hi, you. I appreciate it. Can I like open this? Let's see. Is it quieter on this screen? No, it's not. It's okay. You know what? It's okay. I'll just... Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Hi. It's good to see everybody. It's been one week. Not too bad. I've done two week vacations, but it was just one week. It packs and it was very fruitful. I had a very, very good PAX. My first one, and it was quite overwhelming, but I did things, and it was great. We're so back. Hi, everyone. Oh my god, it's really good to see you. And Arctic, thank you so much for the 31-month resub. We really appreciate it. And thank you, everybody. I really appreciate all the birthday wishes. Holy shit. I don't think I ever got so many on um, on Twitter before. Jesus, that, that, was, that was a lot. So thank you to everyone wishing me happy birthday. I appreciate it. Hi. <laughs> I met so many of you at PAX too. It was really, really fun. And I got to cosplay, my lightning cosplay for the first time in forever. But don't worry, there are videos of that coming along. I think I'm going to have maybe... I'm going to have one vlog of PAX East coming out. And then separately I have another thing uh, I can't talk about it quite yet, but, uh, there'll be two videos coming out of PAX. And then a lot of short content, because I want to show you guys the lightning cosplay and, like, the transforming gun blade that my brother worked on. It ended up being so awesome and cool. Uh, I have so much to talk about. I have so much to talk about. Hi. <laughs> also, I'm wearing a t-shirt for, like, the first time in forever. Um, they gave me this as a gift. And it's funny, because, like, it's, like, balloons. It makes it feel like it's my birthday, but... It's, it, it, they didn't, well, I guess they could have known it's my birthday, but they, they gave this to me as a gift. I thought it was perfect, because it had balloons. I was like, aw, it feels like they knew about it, but they didn't. <laughs> we did get a release date for Dawn Trail, and it is terrifying. I was sure Dawn Trail was going to come out closer to September. Huh. Whenever they showed that release date for Dawn Trail, I cried a little on the inside, I'm not gonna lie. I I, I really felt dead. Look at all the race subs! Karsten, thank you for gifting a sub, two subs to the community. Hope, thank you for the 36 months. That one grape, thank you for the 13 months. I appreciate it. Uh -huh. Yeah, play all of Elden Ring. I could play it after, but the thing is, like, um, I kind of want to do what I did last year, where I didn't actually play N. Walker's MSQ for, like, a month. I waited a month after the official launch date, and then I streamed it. Uh, so... I definitely won't be playing it the day of, because I, I want to get through the Elden Ring DLC and SMT5, by the way. So I want to make sure we finish SMT5, finish Elden Ring DLC, and then we're going to hop into Dawn Trail. That should be about a month after release. So that's going to be the game plan. And then I'm just going to have no life, I guess, for the rest of this year because there's too many games coming out. But whatever, it was fine. It's a chat-only stream for a little bit. I'll change it to Rebirth later, but for, for the time being, it is a just chatting stream. Actually, you know what? I could give us an actual playlist instead of listening to this opening song uh, the whole time. How about that? Here. Let's give you guys an actual playlist of some bomb and music. How about that? No! Oh my god, Dynasty, wait, okay, so, uh, yes, you finished Heaven's Ward. How was it? Please, tell the class all about your Heaven's Ward experience and finishing up 3.3, because it's one of the best out there. I want to hear everything. 
Like 3.3 is still a patch that I hold close to my heart. I, I love it so much. And also, I cried a lot. I like I, I love Astinian so much. So like that whole thing just <laughs> balling. <laughs> you had three months to grind your 14 goals. Oh my god. Good luck with that. You got this. Happy birthday music. Oh my god. I did see that video and I was really, um, um, <laughs> I could not stop laughing. At first for a while I thought somebody specifically edited it until I realized that it wasn't an edit. It was like a, an automated thing from a website. I was like, whenever I first saw it, I'm like, wait, did someone like spend time making this video for me? Uh, no, I'm not that special, but like, it was really so funny. Why am I just having trouble with my playlist? I want it to play my song. Now that's original FF7 music. I am really struggling to get it to shuffle. Okay, there we go. I got it. I got it. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Okay. You should share the reaction I posted in the mod chat. Oh, wait. Did you post it in the mod chat and I missed it? Sure. I can show that to, to the chat. All right, all right. I see you. I see you. You guys want to see something? It's your birthday? Yeah. Well, it was my birthday on Monday, but we don't- I was away, so it doesn't count, alright? Like, it did- it, it doesn't count! My birthday was Monday and I was gone, I was at PAX, I was in Boston. But, I have to say- Happy birthday. Mick to Gangsta! I love your name. Thank you so much for the 29 months, I really appreciate it. Thank you! Um, but, 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 um... Sorry, I'm like trying to multitask like in five different ways right now. It's actually really hard. Oh god. Um, um, I had the best steak and dinner of my entire life Happy on Monday to my on my birthday. Twitch streamer and YouTuber ever. Love Aww. you forever, Chris Allen. Thank you for always making me smile and keeping me happy. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kobe, for the hundred bits. I really appreciate it, and that is way too kind. Ah. But I'm glad that, uh, Dynasty, I'm glad that you think that Heaven's Word was peak, because yes, yes it was. <laughs> Happy birthday. On Monday, Chris the Hype, Chris the Hype. Captain Wesker! Whiskers! God damn it, Whiskers. Um, thank you for the seven months. I appreciate I it. Okay, Tion actually is giving me approval to share this with you guys, so let's, let's share this. Hold on, I gotta I gotta pause the music for a hot sec, okay? There is I need like six monitors right now, actually. <laughs> I kinda need six monitors. Okay, uh uh, uh 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 here you go. This is my reaction to watching that video, by the way. This was done a while ago. I have a special treat. Someone put this in the You Laugh You Lose channel. It didn't fit the theme, but if some it's something that you should see. Change camera and enjoy. Okay, I'm a little. Let's see what's going on. Wait! Who made this? Crystal. Who made this? I'm so scared. This is cursed! But it's hilarious! Epic happy birthday songs dot com. Okay, so somebody didn't make this. This was automated. Okay. I was like, if somebody spent never their time these. and energy on making that for me. 
I wouldn't know what to do with myself. Jesus Christ. That that was that was that was something. I feel like I'm gonna see that in my in my dreams tonight. Ah! <laughs> there you go. That's it. There you go. Um, yeah, so I did watch that video. Tion included it in my You Laugh You Lose compilation, so that's uh, that's why we had it already. I <sighs> So yeah, I think he's gonna include that in the bloopers for next year. I think that's where that's going. I'm not not sure. Tion can tell you. They do these commissions for all the names, so uh, they commissioned them to add your name. Wait, so someone paid someone to make this? It's not like an automated thing. You just enter a name. Oh my god. I would have been replaced as an editor. Yeah, Alan's job would have been done for sure. But anyway, that was a video. <laughs> it definitely made me laugh and smile. So thank you for that. Um, anyway, so I wanted to tell you guys about my birthday dinner. So Dom found, he was like looking for the best steak place because obviously steak is my favorite meal. One of my favorites. And I have never been to like a speakeasy before, nor did I really know what it was to be completely honest. Um, so we Uber over to our dinner place, and it looks like a wig shop. Like, they have wigs on the front in the display window. And then we go inside, and it's a restaurant. It says wig shop. <laughs> so I have never had this experience before, going to a restaurant that's not advertised at all. You just go in thinking it's a wig shop, and it's, uh, it's a very nice restaurant. So, um, yeah, we went inside and we go in like this back private room and it was just like the best experience I've ever had. We had the server all to ourselves for like the first 40 minutes before somebody else came into the private room. Um, and yeah, he was like genuinely really great. He was so funny. Best service I've ever had at a restaurant ever. And also best food I've ever had at a restaurant ever. Like how how can I how did I just have like the best combination of both things? I've never had that before. You know how many times I've gone out to eat in my life and I had the best steak I've ever had, the best service I've ever had, and also they had like this amazing mac and cheese as a side dish, right? And you just think, "Oh, it's just mac and cheese." But no. Like it's not just mac and cheese. It was the best mac and cheese. It was god tier. Like this was the best place I've ever witnessed in my life. I have no idea what the name of the restaurant is called. If you just look up like best steak in Boston and maybe type in like the wig shop, it'll come up. Cause that's what it's, that's what the front is. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a wig shop, but it's weird. Steak is so good that you'll lose all of your hair and need a new wig, dude, that place. It's, it's funny. Cause like my sister called me while I was eating my dinner. And she was like, uh, what are you eating? And I'm like, oh, I'm eating hair. She's like, why, why are you eating? I'm at a wig shop. She's like, okay, you're eating dinner at a wig shop and you're eating hair, okay. And then she just kind of like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was really, really fun. <laughs> All Heaven's War did was make you another Emmerich simp. We got him! Oh my god, wait, let's talk about that. So I went to the Final Fantasy XIV meetup at PAX. That was an official one, so for fans and stuff. So there was like a mini trivia section. And I got the one question right that mattered. I didn't get any other question right. But there was one question that I got right. And it was, um, what is the, oh, there is only, uh, uh how, how was it worded? What is the name of the character that has had the same voice actor and has had a line in every expansion? And I knew it right away. I was like, that's my man. That's Emmerich. He's been in every single expansion, has had at least one line in every single expansion, just one line. But he, has, he is the only person that has not changed his voice actor since A Realm Reborn because everybody else's voice actors change from A Realm Reborn to Heavensward. Emmerich is the only one they kept. 
And I knew that because I'm a big Emmerich simp. So I was really proud to get my one question right out of like 12. I was, I was proud. I like, I, you know, I had my moment. Also, thank you to everybody coming in and wishing me a happy birthday. Hi. I'm just telling a lot of stories. But thank you guys for, for saying happy birthday. That's really sweet of you. Happy birthday, Chris. It's been a while since I caught one of your streams, but I'll always be here supporting your channel, Twitch Unity. Oh, thank you so much, NCIS Addict. Thank you for the 23 months. I really appreciate that. Bankrid is very quickly also becoming your favorite. Oh, damn. Okay, so where's like a Stinian in that tier list? Thing. Julie? Kidding. Wait, you, you shouldn't be gifting subs? <laughs> Julie, thank you for the five gifted. I really appreciate it. You promised us some tea from PAX. Oh my god, there's so much. There's so much to talk about. I made a lot of new friends. And if some of you are here right now, hi. Mm -hmm. It was great meeting a lot of people. Some fans. Happy birthday uh, Actually, a lot of fans. And then a lot of uh, new friends, new content creator friends. And I was also happy that we got to live stream a little bit. Um, so I actually got to live stream on the con floor. For those of you that popped into those streams, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I want to get better at doing live streams. So uh, I'll work to improve the quality of them over time. But we want to do more as we travel more. Exane, thank you so much for the four months, Reese. I really appreciate it. Estinian is still S tier? Okay, cool. Okay, we're fine. Uh, as long as Estinian is S tier. Anyway, so I have so much to talk about. There was so many great things. Sophronia! Sophronia with a 50 bucks! Bro! Ah. Thank you so much. I really, 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 really appreciate that. Oh my god. Anyway, I don't Happy know what to talk day. about first. I could talk about packs. I could talk about things outside of packs. I could talk about Boston. It was my first time in Boston. Let's start with Boston. Because, like, it was my first time ever being in Boston. And that city was dope as shit. I thought people were just, like... I don't know. Everyone was talking up Boston. And now I get it. Like, it's, it's a nice city. Every alleyway, everything, everywhere I went in Boston was so clean. That was, like, the biggest thing I could say about it. Like, there was no trash on any street. It was so clean. And that is so nice. And we walked a lot in Boston. So I got to see a lot of Boston. A lot of corners, a lot of streets. We went pretty much everywhere. We walked everywhere. So, and like, in walking for hours in the city, I didn't, I, I think I only saw like four homeless people and they were in the park. I was like, I don't see a homeless issue. Uh, the, the city is like really, really clean. Lots to do. And uh, the only like the only thing I think I have to criticize is there's not a lot of like indoor activities. Like I'm so used to Montreal where there's like a lot of places indoors that you can go and a lot of like underground systems. So there's, you know, if you wanted to go to the underground mall, there's like five of those in Montreal. There, like there's so many like indoor places but like boston doesn't have a lot of that which kind of surprised me for being a colder city like it's it's in a colder climate so i was kind of surprised that there wasn't a lot of indoor malls and shit but whatever let's talk the cranberry sauce i'm not ready to talk about the cranberry sauce yet give me a sec but yes, Boston was great. Definitely a city that I would recommend. And I hopefully would be looking forward to going to PAX in the future. Because that was very fun, beneficial. I feel like I actually made a lot of like... I don't know. I feel like I... I, I don't know what the word is. It was worth it for me to go to PAX. <laughs> I met a lot of friends, connected with a lot of game developers that were absolutely adorable. Um, that's another thing I could talk about. Uh, it, it was just a very great experience. Yes, I would recommend PAX 2025, especially because they're moving the dates to May. So yeah, I hated how cold it was <laughs> this year. It was like I didn't want to walk anywhere because it was just very cold outside. Uh, so next year it being in May. I think PAX being in May is great for many reasons. Not just the weather being warmer in May, 
but also the gaming industry. I feel like there's not, uh, I feel like a lot of the big players don't have much to present at PAX in like the March season because it's the end of the first quarter. Um, but I feel like having PAX in May is better for like second quarter releases. So if you're releasing a game in like June or July, I feel like it's better for the gaming industry in that sense rather than March. March is always like, I feel like it's awkward. But uh, yeah, so I feel like it, it'll attract maybe some like uh, bigger uh, game devs to be there. But I also love the indie aspect because like getting to see a lot of the indie devs was awesome. It was awesome. Oh, thank you, Zeech, and I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I had a fantastic time at PAX. I have so much to talk about. Yeah, let's go in May. That's, that's, yeah, I want to go back. You never been to a convention, please. Oh my God. It's going to change your life for the better. Huge congrats from Switzerland. Oh, thank you so much. That's so sweet of you, Manit. I don't know how to say your name, but thank you. <laughs> You only went to one con and it was TwitchCon? TwitchCon sucks, dude. Oh, I, w I won't talk about that conversation. It's a little bit more private. But yeah, it was, uh, I had a really great conversation with a, with a new friend about how shitty TwitchCon is <laughs> nowadays. It just, it's so corporate that it's kind of gross and it doesn't feel good to go to TwitchCon anymore. So yeah, I would not recommend TwitchCon. The corporate aspect of it is definitely a fun sucker in like every way. <clears throat> you were the snake cosplayer that high-fived you Friday at PAX? Oh my God, <laughs> you were hilarious. Oh, I could tell you, I could tell that story since, since you're here. What did you say? Wait, I don't actually remember what happened. Didn't I recognize, uh, you were with another cosplayer that I recognized. And then you were just like standing there and you were like, I'm Snake, by the way, or something. <laughs> it was really funny. <laughs> Actually, I think that was on the live stream. I was I was live streaming at, at the time. So I think if you guys were watching the live stream, you got to see the Snake moment. That was hilarious. Oh, you were with the Joker and Makoto, yes. You awkwardly said I was Snake. No, that was so funny. That like the comedic timing of that was amazing. <laughs> Thank you for that. That was incredible. <laughs> I'm like complimenting Joker and Makoto and dudes like I'm Snake. <laughs> That's amazing. Welcome to the stream. Hi. <laughs> You're going as a volunteer at a con here in Switzerland for an anime manga that really that starts on Friday. Oh, that's super fun! I hope you have a lot of fun with that. There is, um, Anime Ottawa is happening this weekend, and I'm just going Saturday because I'm very exhausted from the PAX trip. I didn't want to go another full convention weekend. So if anybody is in the area, I will be attending Anime Ottawa on just Saturday. So just one day from me this year. Um, but yeah. Cons are fun. I really like them. They really inspire me because like I get back from cons and I'm just so motivated to work on content. I really want to hammer out some cosplays right now. So like I'm very motivated to make cosplays and everything. I'm just, cons are great. Oh, PAX Unplugged, my brother went because my brother lives in Philadelphia. Uh, so he went to PAX Unplugged this year to go check it out with his friend. And he really loved it a lot. Like he had a great time at Unplugged, so I might go check it out sometime because it's a free trip for me. I just stay with my brother, so I don't have to pay for a hotel. <laughs> I just stay at my brother's place and we just go in for a day kind of thing. Every con seems to be in the Northeast or way in the West, so it's hard to get to them. Uh, wait, no, no. Dude, you are in Florida. There are so many big cons in Florida. Um, oh my God. There's like three cons that I want to attend in Florida that are huge. I think Mega Con is one of them. They're all in Orlando though, I think. But you're not far from Orlando. Come on, you could you could go. Holiday Matsuri, that's the other one. That's the other one I've always wanted to go. Yes. There's there's a lot of big cons in Orlando. I think there's three major ones. 
Paul Matt. Oh, so I did get it right. Megacon. Orlando is like a two hour drive. Yeah, go to go to Orlando. They have great cons. Holiday Matsuri has also been on my bucket list. Thank you for reminding me of that. Um, I would love to go to Holiday Matsuri. And I've also heard good things about Megacon as well. But yeah, you got, you got them in Florida. Also, what's the big one in Atlanta? You're probably not far from Atlanta. Uh, Dragon Con? Dragon Con used to be huge. I haven't heard about it in many years, though. Happy birthday. Hope oh, you thank you, Pat Stray. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. But yeah, I, I love conventions. I want to try to keep going to more. And also, um, like last year at Otakuthon, I did my dance panel where I taught the specialist dance as a workshop. I want to do more of that at conventions as well. So hopefully I get to do more dance teaching. It's just hard to travel to them because they do cost money for me to go to whenever it's not like a paid trip. Uh, but when, I'm trying to expand and do what I can because I would love to do more panels and more appearances at conventions. I'm, I'm trying my best here. But yeah, I do like the, the dance workshop idea, dance, dance teaching at cons. <clears throat> Yeah, I have a lot of friends that go to Holiday Matsuri. That's a big one. I can't believe I forgot about that. <laughs> but yes. Uh, GCX is in Tampa. Wait, GCX? I don't think I've heard of that one. New York Comic Con. I have never been to a big Comic Con. I went to one before. It was a smaller event. But I wasn't... I don't know, I guess I'm not big into comics, so it, it wasn't wasn't really my thing, but it was still nerdy and fun at the end of the day. Uh, but yeah, New York City Comic Con and San Diego Comic Con are like the two biggies on the East and West Coast, and they look fun, but I just don't know if they're for me. It is The World Ends With You in the background, yes. The 16 DLC is coming out April 16th or something? Mid-April? I don't remember the exact date. Oh, C2E2. That's in Chicago, right? Um, I've heard of C2E2. I've only heard of it, though. Wait, I had a couple friends that went, I think, at some point, and they loved it, but I don't remember. That's a long time ago. You only get so much time off every year and sacrificing a couple days just to fly would add up. Yeah, well, you got a lot of good conventions in Florida, actually. Every time I look, I feel like there's a there's a con happening in Orlando and then I'm really jealous. <laughs> okay, this is not supposed to be... My, my playlist is on shuffle. It's not supposed to be just playing The World Ends With You music. music. April 18th for Rising Tide DLC. Yeah! <laughs> We're gonna get there. Fan Expo in Boston is another con. Oh! Speaking of Boston, I'm not gonna lie, I was very close to staying in Boston longer because I didn't realize until too late that Anime Boston is happening this weekend. Just two conventions happening in a row at the same con, con center. So I was like, why did I just not stay two weeks and go to a, the anime con the next weekend? Because I didn't realize until too late because I saw Lotus Juice was going. And I was like, I would love to meet Lotus Juice. He's going to be at Anime Boston. I was just there. I could have just stayed a couple extra days and saw Lotus Juice. I'm so mad. I left. <laughs> I left Boston. And he was arriving at Boston. So yeah, I think Anime Boston looked cool. Yeah, it's this weekend. This weekend. So I was I was very close. I was debating it. I was like, so what if I stayed, extended my stay a little bit longer? <laughs> I could have, because I have videos to edit, and I had my laptop with me, so I actually could have been working the entire time. Just, just no live streaming, but I would have been working on my YouTube videos. Pass Lotus Juice at the airport, mouthing mass destruction as you pass through security. <laughs> I 
Every time he speaks, fire just flows from his mouth. <laughs> I want to meet Lotus Juice one day. Anime Boston's on your on your list. Oh, really? Well, man, it sucks because like, yeah, doing two con weekends back to back is a little bit more affordable than coming back. But now that PAX is moving to May, Anime Boston is going to be separated from it again. <clears throat> anyway, so cons are fun. If you haven't attended a con in your life, please go and do so. They are very, very fun. It's where I make a lot of friends, a lot of connections, and yeah. Speaking of connections, the Stream Stars event, I don't know if you guys watched the live stream, but that was really, really fun to partake in. It was very different. Um, and I also got robbed. <laughs> I'm very upset. I'm salty about it a little bit. But I had a really, really great experience. But for those of you that didn't get to watch the show, we played like a family feud, but they called it Pax Feud. And um, we could have stolen everything and won, at least gotten like top four. But the producers fucked us. And I'm so mad about it. So I got fucked by the producers. They robbed me $500, man. I could have won some more prize money. But, um... Yeah, the, the question was like, what... What uh, is your favorite, like, Thanksgiving side dish? And it's... It's really sad because literally the first answer that came to my head was cranberry sauce. Like cranberries. That w I would have said cranberries. And the reason why it's the first thing on my brain was because uh, my brother is my best friend. And his favorite part about Thanksgiving is the cranberries. He's always the one that goes for it and eats the most. So I always think of cranberries first because of my brother. And yeah. So I had already known that that was going to be an answer, but because the producers fucked up and they accidentally showed it earlier in the show, it didn't. It wasn't a valid answer because they considered it cheating, even though I had already known the answer was going to be there. So I was really sad. I didn't need the cheat. I didn't need it. I didn't need to be shown it. I just it was it was there. So I'm really upset. Because we could have like kept going, our group could have kept could have kept going, but the producers really fucked up that one. That was unfortunate, but at the end of the day, it was still very fun. Do cons in Canada, French or English? Um, and they're gonna be in English, uh, largely, uh, except for like Quebec. So, Otakuthon, which is in Montreal, is the biggest anime convention, and. Usually the panels state whether they are in English or French. Uh, so like the panelist has a choice of presenting in French or English. Like whenever I presented my workshop, I listed it as teaching in English. So um, that's it, panel, they're, they're multilingual. So like most that you go to are gonna be multilingual, at least in the Montreal area. The further out you go, it's probably gonna be just French. Um, uh, but yeah. It's very multilingual. I haven't had an issue in Otakuthon as far as French and English goes. But yeah. Could you guys actually see the answer board? Yes. So the answer board was in the middle. So anytime we like looked backwards, there's like a TV uh, that there was a monitor on the ground that showed it. So we did see it. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, okay. There's my answer on the board. that I had already guessed and they just ruined it for us. So because we had already saw it, they couldn't ha they couldn't accept it. Uh I had some good news. I got employee of the quarter last week out of a department out of, of 130 people. Congrats Dynasty, you're a giga chat. Congrats, congrats. <laughs> That's a big deal. Look at you. Look at you. You did get gifted a sub. Enjoy it. Enjoy your emotes. Speaking of emotes, they're on the way. We're doing a big overhaul of our emotes here on the channel. 
So I will probably upload the leftovers onto like 7TV or something, um, or make them bit emotes type of thing. Like the, the emotes that you have now will not be gone forever. I will have them on the channel in some other way, shape or form, but I want to have like an official mascot. I want to have clean branding emotes. So the month of April is where that's going to slowly happen and take over in correspondence with the Persona 3 subathon that we're going to do as well. You're in a volleyball tournament and have a game tonight? Oh my god, good luck. Go kill those bitches. <laughs> Don't actually. <clears throat> Does your mascot have a name? That's a good question. Um, We call it Ambi. So... It's gonna be uh, an axolotl, ambistoma, an ambistoma. Um, um, which, I, by the way, I just went. I went to the Boston Aquarium, and I didn't realize that the Final Fantasy fourteen name for axolotls, like they call them ambistomas in Final Fantasy fourteen, and I was like, oh, I thought that that was a name that they just made up, but no, it's literally just the scientific name for an axolotl. They didn't make it up. It's just the scientific name. Like, oh, I learned something. Um, so yeah, we, uh, this is Ambi, and Ambi is going to, uh, have a lot of emotes. Because Ambi is adorable. So, rebranding to Ambi. I probably should not have a near song on here now that I think of it. They usually get copyrighted. Destroy them! Ambi? I think it's with a Y. A M B Y. That's how you spell the scientific name. So we're gonna have an axolotl set of emotes. And they're going to be really cute. Not all of the emotes are going to go away, so don't worry. But I just would like some solid branding rather than having my emotes be, like, everywhere. You know what I mean? Thank you for the happy birthdays, everyone. Y'all are really sweet. And I hope you guys had a good week while I was gone. Um, yeah, I missed you guys. <laughs> I missed you guys a lot. So, th yeah, thank you for stopping in for the happy birthdays. Thank you so much, Goofy. That really, I really appreciate it. <sighs> Would Ambi be a boy or a girly pop? I don't know. Maybe Ambi is just ambiguous, like no gender. Is... Ambi is just Ambi. Gender is Ambi. <laughs> Ambi is now a gender, according to me, because I said so. Ambi for ambiguous! Yes, I love it. Yes. Happy bleeding. All of the resubs, Raka! Thank you for the 11 months! Cannons. Thank you, I appreciate it. <sighs> yeah, I have to give a shout out for to Square because they gave me invites to the FF16 and the 14 panel so that I didn't have to wait in the long lines and I got guaranteed seating. So that was very nice of them to do the reserve seating for us. Um, those panels were a lot of fun to witness like in person. Uh, oh, and I also got a picture with Koji Fox, which I did post on Twitter. Um, we thought it was really funny that whenever I posted the lightning cosplay with next to Koji Fox, everyone in the comments was like, Oh my god, look at the lightning cosplay! But like, that wasn't the point in the picture, people! The point was that I got a picture with K Koji Fox! The Koji Fox! And everyone was just interested in the cosplay! <laughs> 
Y'all got the point wrong. <laughs> I got a picture with Koji. I was so excited. We ran into him. He was just lingering around the 14 booth. And um, I was like, oh my god, that's Koji Fox. And I had to get a picture with him. And then I had a really embarrassing moment with him too. I, I guess I'll tell it so that you guys can laugh at me. Um, so I go up to Koji and I, I told him, I pointed at Dom and I was like, uh, hi, I'm a really big fan, I was, and uh, it, I, I just thought this was a funny story, so I thought I would tell it. So I was like, hi, I, I, I love your stuff, Koji, you're great. Um, and it's funny because like I was just talking to my partner Dom, uh, telling him like who you were because he wasn't aware, and uh, I, the way I described him to uh, described you to him was, uh, you're the guy that goes ba da 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 tight end, and he just looked at me. <laughs> He just, he just looks at me like he didn't know how to respond to that. And I was... And I just felt embarrassed. I thought I thought it would make him laugh or something, but no, he just... He was like, yeah. <laughs> I was embarrassed. But you know what? He still took a picture with me, so it wasn't that bad to where he was like, oh, get out of my face, right? So that was good. That's great. Anyway. Um... <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I thought it would be funny. But it... <laughs> he gave me a lahi face. Yeah, he looked at me funny. <laughs> so for those of you that didn't know Koji Fox before, he is the lead singer of the Primals band for FF14. He does almost all of the localization. Uh, well, not almost all. He definitely has a better team nowadays. He used to do it all. He did all of the English localization for FF16. Your side quest that was named Cock and Balls, that was him. You can thank him for that. He loves those jokes a lot. Um, and he does, yeah, all the English lo localization for um, uh, 14 as well. He has a team, so it's not just him, but I think he mainly did 16s. I think that was mostly him. The creator of Thal's Balls. There you go. The creator of Thal's Balls. <clears throat> ben Star was there. I wish I could have ran into him. Because we have a lot of mutual friends, so I could have an easy conversation with Mr. Ben. Uh, I wanted to hang out. Okay, let's be real. Okay, so I was, um, sorry, I was debating on saying it. I was waiting for a, let's just call it a meeting. And I was sitting down at a table waiting to enter my meeting. And then I just, I look up. And I see Ben Starr just like walking right past my shoulder away from me. And I was like, I got a little sad. So I was like, he's, he's going and I'm here and he's going and I'm here. And I didn't get a picture with him. So I was a little, a little sad. It's okay though. I'll get him one day. I'll get him one day. We have a lot of mutual friends. So I feel like I'm just like bound to run into him one day. Why would you not say hi? Dude looked like he was in a hurry. I hate interrupting people that look like they're going to somewhere. Like, he looked like he was on his way to something. <clears throat> oh, Clive and Thancred. Yeah, Ben's been funny with that. I do hope that they just, like, find a role for Ben to voice in Dawn Trail. Like, any any new NPC, they'll just find a way for Ben to be in it. That would be wonderful. Also, I changed my water bottle because Pax gave it to me for free. Um, it's, it's just their water bottle. 20 years of Pax. And it's much bigger than my last one, and I kind of like it better. So, new water bottle for the channel. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>
It's I just like having a bigger water bottle because then I have to refill it less. Y'all, I have so much to talk about. Like the literally, PAX was, the, the week was full of shit. Do I want to play this song? It's a little bit too aggressive right now. <gasps> Great A's Attorney Chronicle. This is a good song. Okay. You know, PAX East is supposed to be a, like a convention about games and I haven't talked about that at all. Let me tell you my favorite game that I came across throughout the whole weekend. It is called Athena Crisis. That was my favorite game that I found. I was playing it on stream. You guys saw it on the live stream. I found this game and I was like, oh shit, that's my game right there, that's it. Um, because I love tactics games and it looked exactly like Advance Wars. So I played it for like 20 minutes. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. It looked like a, a, like you take Advance Wars and you just expand upon the concept and I really, really liked it. So I know I'm gonna be playing Athena Crisis at least in my off time, but maybe I can find just one stream day to show it off. I won't play the whole thing on stream, but uh, I just want to show it off one day because that was really, 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 really fun. So Athena Crisis was great. And there was also a couple other indie devs that I, uh, indie, indie titles that I really uh, enjoyed demoing. There was a lot of really good ones out there. Also, I kissed Pumpkin Machima. <laughs> oh, right. You just finished Yakuza 5, Hannah, didn't you? I've been away the past week, so I didn't, I think you finished the game though. So I didn't get to see your streams of the end. Fuck, I have to go back and watch your VODs. I've been watching like nearly every single one of your Yakuza 5 live streams and I missed the end because I've been away for a week. I'm really upset. Um, but <laughs> it's funny you call him Pumpkin Majima. I can't wait for you to get to Yakuza 6 or any of the games, honestly. Can we get a shout out for Hannah? We haven't done that in a long time. Please go follow Hannah. Y'all, she's lovely. I did have a really good time, Hannah. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. And I'm glad that you're having so much fun with Yakuza. It is, it is a joy watching your streams. I love lurking in them while I get to like work on my cosplay and stuff in the background. It's so great. Yeah, give Hannah a lot of love. She plays a lot of the same games we do. She's playing through all the Yakuza series for the first time right now. And I highly look forward to the future of more Yakuza games with her. She's lovely. She's lovely. And yes, add Athena Crisis to your list. If you like Advance Wars, if you like tactics games, I, I would recommend it. I didn't get to play more than like 20 minutes, but uh, I was at least impressed by the 20 minutes that I played. So uh, that is one that I would recommend that I played at PAX East. And there's a couple others. There's just, there was a lot of games. <laughs> I also got a few codes to give away to my community. I don't think I'll do it now, but I'll, I'll choose a date to give away some, uh, some games that y'all might be interested in. I don't want to like accidentally show the code on stream because it's just on my paper here. Thank you guys so much. Y'all are so sweet. Ah, I really did have a great birthday. Like spending it in Boston was really special because like I, I swear every birthday I've had, it's always been like in my little old apartment here and then I don't do much. <laughs> but it's been, it's it was great. I got to have the best dinner, steak and service in my life. And then I went to the aquarium in the morning, the Boston Aquarium, and that was just really, really fun. And now I'm just back home in good old Ottawa. <laughs> I love Ottawa, but Boston was a lot of fun. During the subathon, oh, that's right, I do. Oh, wait, I didn't, there's so much happened. There's so much that happened at PAX that I, I forgot. I got gifts to give away for the subathon. So one of the items I'm gonna give away. Um, I bought this. It's a Koromaru plushie. I think I'll leave it in the bag so that it's nice and fresh for whoever wins it. But um, there is like a little sword down here, a little dagger. He has a little dagger. It's like a magnet. So it's, it's a magnet that it sticks in his mouth. And I bought it just for somebody to, to give it away. I wanted one for myself because he's really cute. 
but I, I'm saving it for the subathon. So during the Persona 3 subathon that we do, I'll give it away. I have a few other things to give away too, so don't worry. It's gonna be a nice subathon. I did. I wanted to give away some cute stuff. Yo, little Nag, thanks for the 25 months. I appreciate you. Clap. Thank you. I'm so excited for my 30s, y'all. Like, I don't know why. Like, I, I feel like, I don't know. I, I just feel like I haven't hit my prime in my life, you know? And the, and the 30s are like prime time. And I'm looking forward to it a lot. I'm just, this is gonna be, like my 30s are gonna be the best. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it a lot. I've never been excited to age in my life, which is like really weird. <laughs> 30 and thriving, right? It's so great. Like, because I've always felt like your 20s are like the worst decade of your life because the 20s is like where you're transitioning to figuring out how to be an adult. So a lot of your 20s, I feel like is just stressful. You're just, you graduate college usually in, in a normal circumstance. Like you're, you're graduating college, you're moving away from home. You're figuring out how to be a fucking adult. You're trying to get a good solid job, like, these things always develop as you age too. Like you don't ever really get settled, but like trying to figure out how to be an adult is really stressful. And that's a lot of your twenties. So like now that I'm settled next year, Dom and I are going to look into buying a house in Montreal or around Montreal, which is very exciting. Um, and yeah, after that, it'll just be like very settling. I don't know. I'm just like, uh, I'm just really excited. I feel like the, the next 10 years are just going to be dope. I'm just going to I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, it's like life is always a struggle, but you at least get a better sense of how to be an adult as you get older, I feel. And and also the other thing is that um, I got distracted by the music being loud. God damn it. Oh, <laughs> um, 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 my, my train of thought crashed. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's gone. It's gone. Maybe it'll come back. Oh boy, it's been the most roller coaster. Hannah, you've done so much. You've done so much. I completely, I completely sympathize with your like situation. Cause like I also had to immigrate to Canada in my twenties and that was easily the most stressful thing I will ever do in my life. I fucking hated every bit of immigrating to Canada. It was, it was just so stressful. I'm just so glad it's done. Like, I'm just glad it's done. I, I'm gonna be a citizen by the end of this year. I'm gonna be a dual citizen because I applied and it's gonna be all be over. Right, Ambi? Right, it's gonna all be, it's gonna be over. I did it, I fucking did it. And I know Hannah's in a similar situation. It's stressful. You got this. And yeah, I'm gonna be a really, I'm gonna be a full Canadian streamer. I'm, I'm already Canadian, but I'm gonna be a, a citizen, hopefully by the end of the year. So 20s are great. I'm just glad that they're done. <laughs> and also the 20s was also me dealing with how to uh, how to deal with anxiety because I, I developed physical symptoms for anxiety whenever I was like 23, 24. And ever since then, it's just been figuring out how to deal with that. And I feel like now that I've gone to like a bunch of therapy, we've really, I've really improved a lot on how to, how to deal with it. So like when I'm having physical symptoms of anxiety, I handle it so much better. Like I'm so much better equipped than I used to be. So there's just so many things like life is a learning process. You're never going to stop learning, but I feel like I got a lot of like the big, big stresses out of the way in the past like five years. And that feels really, really good. Moving to another country sounds like a nightmare because it is. <laughs> I just sit here and be stressed like half of the time, fearing being deported for some reason. Like you have no many, you have no idea how many nightmares I have sometimes. So just just being deported, I'm like, ah, <laughs> it's such a fear. <laughs> I have so many of those nightmares. It's terrible. Oh. Uh... <laughs> I'm hoping once I become a citizen that they'll just go away. <laughs> uh... 
When you migrated to Switzerland, it's hard. Yeah, it ain't easy. Just when you think it's done, you have to go to a doctor or something, and then they're like, man, they really let you move here for content creation, and I fall apart. No! they Do they actually say that to you, Hannah? Don't tell me that that's actually real. I'm gonna sock someone in the face. Holy shit. I know, I'm proud of me too. We've come a long way here. <laughs> You're gonna have full citizenship and still get them. No! <laughs> no, I hope, I do hope that for both of us one day they go away. It's, it's terrifying. It's so scary. It happened two weeks ago? No fucking way. A doctor said that to you? Who do I gotta beat up? That is so ignorant. Like, Jesus Christ. I wouldn't even know what to say to that, like, if someone said that to me. You came here for content creation? Like... I'd be like, well, it sounds like I'm a much happier person than you are. <laughs> Jesus. Fuck. That, that's, that's rough. Holy shit. I guess so. So awkward. <laughs> Oh my god! That's horrible, Jesus. I'm sorry you had that experience. Fuck. Uh... You had a full-on panic when you applied for citizenship, and I'm squeaky clean, so I find it very normal to feel this way. Yeah, like, I've, I've gone to, like, every service I could possibly go to. Like, I've gone to free public services that are here in Ottawa and, like, tried to have as much help in the process as possible to make sure I did everything right. I even saw a fucking, like, I paid a lawyer <laughs> to literally get permanent residency uh, so that I was secure there. I've, I, I go to a, I go to a tax accountant. Uh, I have an accountant officially now uh, to make sure the taxes and everything is done right on that end. I've done so much. Like, I try so hard. <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> I really, I really just have a fear of getting in trouble and it sucks so bad. Your dual citizen Mexican Swiss and was stressful combined with anxiety problems. The start was really not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely can relate to that. I had a traumatic experience at the border. Uh, I was like 24 or 23 years old. And uh, I was denied entry to Canada because they just suspected that I was moving there. And I just had like a three month lease. What I wanted to do was I wanted to live in an apartment in Montreal for three months and then come back home because I wanted to do it. Because it's like. I think it's really rough to move to another country that you don't really know that much about. Like, I had vacation in Montreal, but vacationing in a city can be a lot different than actually living in a city. So I thought that being there for three months would be a great way to, like, get a good feel of what it would be like to live in Canada. That was the intention. Like, not to stay there long term at that point in time, but I just wanted to get a feel for it. And that's perfectly legal, too. Like, it's not illegal to do that. Everybody can visit Canada for up to six months. Like, but the border officer just was a complete bitch, ruined my life, caused me a, such a traumatic experience and made me drive eight hours to go all the way back home. Like, I will never forget that moment in my life and it will forever be super traumatic. And then I still had to figure out, and then every time I had to cross to come back to Canada after that, I felt like a criminal. Like, I felt like I wasn't allowed to be here. So every time I would cross, I would just cry and I would just have a time. It was just, it was just terrible at every step of the way. Like, even though nothing I did was illegal or not allowed. It's just, this officer was just having a fucking bad day and she was awful and she took it out on me. It was, it was just really bad. <clears throat> Needless to say, we are now over that. We get, we get over those traumatic experiences. <laughs> Ah, now I don't have a problem across the border, but it literally took like five years to feel like it was okay for me to cross the border. Five years. And I crossed a lot in that time, even though COVID was during that time. Uh, but like before and after COVID, I was traveling across the border quite a lot. It was awful. Lee, hi! Can we get another shout out for Lee? <laughs> I love these ladies so much. 
what happened with your lease? I had to cancel it. So I had to call the landlord, even though I had already approved a, a three month lease. I had to call him and be like, so I was denied entry to Canada and I'm not arriving now. Like it was, the, I had wasted $1,200 because I had to put down a down payment. And he was like, I can only give you like partial refund. And I was like, I understand. There's nothing really that can be done there. So I had wasted $1,200 because of that officer. And I also had to, I had a U-Haul truck, like one of those like little ones though. And uh, I also didn't get a refund back for that. So I think I lost $2,000 total by getting denied entry to Canada that day. And there was just so many things that were traumatic about that. Oh, thank you so much, Lee. I really appreciate it. You're so sweet. <laughs> what the fuck is that you laugh you lose title? Wait, I don't remember what I did. Let me check. I don't remember what I titled it as. Is it bad? Oh, the birth- Oh, birthday sneezing on everyone. Yeah. I don't know what that title is. You think I know how to title a goddamn YouTube video? I still don't. I don't know what a birthday sneeze is. <laughs> I like how Tion sends me the videos and then like I edit them and I just ruin Tion's hard work that he did on the video. <laughs> Don't laugh for a birthday. A birthday sneeze is whenever you like snort a bunch of glitter up your nose and then you just go Achoo! and then the glitter goes everywhere. That's what a birthday sneeze is. <laughs> don't ask me why, I don't know. <laughs> This is why that video is going to perform a 10 out of 10, and you know who's going to care? Not me. <laughs> ah. You were the Akechi cosplayer you met at PAX, and can I say that interaction was the highlight of your con experience? Get out! You were- wait, you were the- I met a couple of Akechi cosplayers, so bear with me. Were you the Akechi cosplayer that danced for me and gave like the really cool dance move? Was that you? Because if it was, you got the schmoobs. If you guys didn't see that live stream, it's in the first live stream that we did at PAX and uh, yeah, that was you. Hell yeah, you're a dancing gamer. Yeah, there was a beautiful Akihiko and a catchy cosplayer that I stopped because I wanted to dance with them. And Yay. this lovely Akechi cosplayer that's now here Blew me away with the dance saying. moves. I'm just cute. Yeah, that's right. Gift him a sub. Good. <laughs> Thank you for gifting him a sub. I appreciate it. Seriously, the schmoves. I was very impressed. Thank you. I I'm, I'm really honored that that was like the highlight of your experience. That's really sweet of you to say. That's very sweet of you to say. That was a very big highlight for me too. I loved. I, I stopped as many uh, Persona cosplayers as I could at the con and I was just asking them to dance with me and have a fun moment and it was very, very fun. I think I'll do the same at Anime Ottawa this weekend when I go. Uh, I, might, I just love just stopping Persona cosplayers for no reason. Uh, as long as they're comfortable with it, of course, but yeah, that was very fun. Thank you for that. Your dance moves were great. <laughs> Uber Skippy, by the way, thank you so much for the 44 month resub. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> you got an ad? Wait, you shouldn't be getting an ad. You're a sub. Twitch! You just got gifted a sub. No! Take the ads away. Now you need to see the bot. It's in like the first 10 minutes of the first PAX East VOD. So if you go there and watch it, it's at the very beginning. Would highly recommend to watch the Akihiko and the Akechi dance moves. They were very impressive. There's gonna be a bunch of Persona cosplayers. I'm thinking about being one of them. I'm thinking about whipping out the, the Fem C cosplay. And just wearing Femc this Saturday. I don't know. 
Thank you so much, Erilyns. Are you going to be at Anime Ottawa this weekend? So I can finally meet you? <laughs> finally, after several years. You'll be there? Do you have a booth? Or are you just attending? Okay, you are tabling. <gasps> okay. This is my chance. <laughs> Should I cosplay FemC this weekend? Just on Saturday. I'll debate it. I'll debate it. I'll, I'll think about it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I was so happy. I only saw one FemC cosplay at PAX. Only one. But I was like, damn girl, represent. I was so proud. Please do cosplayer. I'll think about it. <laughs> but yes, I will I stop by your table. You were the Akihiko! Yes, I got the Akihiko and the Akechi in here! Yes! Thank you for dancing with me. That was really cute. <laughs> I want to do more fun things like that at cons, so I'm I'm a I'm gonna do more of that. That was just really really fun to to just like dance with random Persona cosplayers. So thank you for being a part of it. I appreciate it. Y'all were both fantastic, and thank you guys again for all the happy birthdays. I really appreciate it. Um 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 um. I don't. I have so many stories to tell from what happened at PAX. Like I didn't. I think I just like scratched to the surface of things that happened. Um, there's a lot more, but I feel like I could just save it for another time, too. I know, there's a lot of Giga Chads in the chat right now. A, a whole ton of them. Oh, no problem, Erilyns. No problem. I I should have time to stop by because I, I don't know how big Anime Ottawa is going to be, but I don't expect it to be too big. Like, I, sh I should be able to stop. It shouldn't be a problem. I might sit on in the masquerade because I do have uh, two or three friends that are judging for it. So I would like to sit in and watch a masquerade on Saturday, but I have like the whole day. The vendor hall is massive. Oh, really? Oh, I'm glad to hear that. I wasn't ex I wasn't sure what to expect because I know this is the first year of Anime Ottawa, but I'm really excited. <gasps> Majima cosplay. Eee! Okay. Anyway, I'm, I'm 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 I feel like I should play video games. I feel like I should play video games. Um. I do miss playing Rebirth, and I do miss playing Unicorn Overlord, but Unicorn Overlord is tomorrow. Ah! I love Majima. I love him so much. I shouldn't... Actually, I feel like I should, though. I feel like I should uncover his face at some point. His beautiful face has been hidden. There. Now he's a lot better. Oh my god, you need to talk to me about Majima. Wait, I haven't been able to watch any streams for a week. I was telling Hannah this before. Like, I was upset that I missed the end of her Yakuza 5 playthrough. Did you finish Yakuza 0? While I was gone? Like, how far are you? How far are you in your streams, Lee? Tell me, please. Where are you? I have- I've been gone. And I hate it. I've missed everything. Uh, his feet, he's on his knees because that's where he, um, <laughs> um, he's too tall. If I put him, this is a scaled, uh, cardboard cutout. It's to scale. So it, it, Majma is six foot tall. So it is, it's six foot tall, which means his head gets cut off if I'm in my sit mode of my desk. So, so his head isn't cut off. I, I put him on his knees. Yes, we will be watching Mashina Abridged. 
Not quite, but we're approaching things. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, God, I'm gonna have to like speed run you and uh, Hannah's playthroughs. God, I was watching, I was keeping up with them for so long until I left and now I'm like so behind, but I'll catch up again. God damn it. <laughs> Is your P3 fave still Shinji? Um, yeah. It's kind of uncontested. I love Shinjiro so much. Yeah, without a doubt, it's Shinjiro. I love him. <laughs> uh. I'm not ready to play Reload, I think. I <laughs> uh. My brain just keeps thinking of how Reload's gonna go, because I've stayed away from all the footage. I'm so nervous. <laughs> there are people out there whose favorite isn't Shinji. He's the best. I know. <laughs> I do. I'm a sucker for him. I love him a lot. <gasps> you finished Cabaret! Whoa! You finished the cabaret minigame? That's a true Yakuza fan right there. I am so proud of you. We <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm so happy to hear that too. Because the cabaret minigame is still like one of the best uh, minigames in like all of Yakuza. I keep telling as many people as I can. Like I just want a mobile game of it. Like no lie. I don't play mobile games like at all. But I would love a cabaret minigame on my phone. I just give it to me. I want it so bad. It was peak. I know! The story's actually so good, isn't it? I'm so glad that you finished it. You're still not over reload. Uh. <sighs> Everyone keeps talking it up like uh, they did a really, really good job with Reload. And I'm really excited about it, too. Diner Dash coded minigame? I, I would love it. I feel like, yeah, um, I feel like RGG is missing out on, like, not putting their minigames in, like, a another form or some way. Because they, they develop, like, some of the best fucking minigames. But they should just, like, compile all the minigames into, like, a mobile game or something. I don't know. I would pay for that, personally. I'm a minigame addict. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I have to go back to playing Judgment for some of those minigames that I never finished either. God damn, they just make some really good ones. But yeah, the Cabaret minigame. Easily one of the best ones. P3R overtook P5R? Oh shit. No, don't say that to me. Like, because when I... Because, like, playing P3 for the first time, it... It was so close to overtaking my P5R experience, but my but my P5R experience was so special that it's really hard to top that. But P3 came so fucking close, but it just couldn't take the cake for me by ever so slight of a margin. And I'm worried that playing P3R will be like the perfect version of the game that does actually top P5R for me too. And I'm just like, I'm scared of that. I'm scared. I'm actually scared of it. I don't know if I'm actually ready to have P5R beat for me. It overtook P5R for you too. No, don't say that. No. No, I'm scared. Ah. I don't know what to do. If ah. Actually, uh, the I actually should show a picture of this sometime because I hung up all of the gifts that you guys have sent me throughout the whole years here. Ever since I, like, blew up with Persona, like, I've had three years worth of, like, uh, merch that you guys have sent me, and it's so cute. Um, but, hold on. I, one of them fell, so I can actually show it. Hold up. Oh! <laughs> Ironically, the three that fell off of my display here, I have, I have them attached. Isn't that sad? I have literally Akihiko and Shinji attached to each other. <laughs> 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 
They're so cute. But they're attached and they're adorable. I wish they would focus. Um, it's hard whenever I... Because I, I can't hold them together. Let's try this. There they go. They're so cute. I wish I remembered, like, who sent me what. Because these all came in my P.O. box at some point, And uh, they're so cute. I, I genuinely love these little guys. And then... Uh, th I think this is, like, the same person that probably sent me the uh, Akechi one as well. Come on, camera. There you go. That one's really, really cute. I love that one, too. That one's adorable. But I, I, I think I love this little Akihiko. He's just adorable. They fell off my display. <sighs> man. It's rough, man. I love Persona 3 and 4, uh, no, and, and 5 so much. I, I like Persona 4 too, but... 3 and 5, man. 3 and 5. Do not let them be apart. Don't worry, they're attached to each other, and they're going to stay attached to each other. <laughs> I felt like I had to, because, like, Akihiko's here has, like, a clip, so I was like... I thought it would be appropriate to, like, just attach them together, and I did. Maybe... Uh... Yeah, up there is a little bit better. I had it attached at the wrong point. Yeah, we'll do that. Now they're like back to back and that's cute. I'll hang them back up, they fell. <clears throat> I know, I know. I, get a, I still get a lot of shit for my YouTube video that I put out a while ago, like with my uh, Persona game tier list. I still get shit for that. I know, like, I still love Persona 4. I still do. But Persona 3 and 5 are just, like, something special. Right, right, that's so true. 4 was my favorite until 3 Reload, and that finally turned me. Oh, no! <laughs> until they remake 4. I don't even know what it would be called. Persona 4 Reloaded 2.0. I don't know. <laughs> They'll remake it eventually. Fighting between your love of P1 and 2 and 3, so it looks bad when I put it in fourth place. <laughs> what's your what's your favorite one, Hope? I can't remember if like you really loved Persona 2 more. I can't remember. Oh yeah, my my yak is a tier list. I am planning on that, but I have other priorities right now. I really want to prioritize my dance tutorial. I have four videos to edit. Two videos from PAX. Um, I, uh, I'm editing the other video right now. I already recorded it, but I have to still edit the, you know, the tweet I put out a while ago, having a discussion about re-releases and stuff. Um, I, I recorded that, so I have to edit that video too. So I have three videos to edit there and then the dance tutorial video to finally script out and record and then send over to Pinoy to edit. And so that's four videos I want to finish in like two weeks. I'm hoping I could do all of that in two weeks. And then my next priority right after that is my metaphor cosplay. I would really like to cosplay the metaphor protagonist as fast as possible. And then the Yakuza tier list will be after that. If I have time. Because I also have to edit the Persona 3 reload streams myself. <sighs> There's so much work to do. Persona 2 has your favorite cast out of the whole series. I do like the Persona 2 cast a lot. I feel like Persona 2... I do love Persona 2. But I can't figure out what it is lacking either. It's lacking a little something-something. But I don't know what that something-something is. But it's a peak game. Is it your birthday? It was my birthday on Monday. Uh, I was just not here, so this is like the official birthday stream. Yes, hi. Do 
three is technically your favorite, but one is a close second. Would be first if it wasn't for the gameplay. Yeah, Persona 1 gameplay is a bit rough. But I did love the manga a lot. Persona 1 manga was very... fun. I actually really like that story. Oh yeah, I'm so used to that stuff. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Whenever you have a opinion on the internet, there's always people that will get up in arms about it. I'm quite used to it, I think, by this point, so I don't really care too much. But yeah, the Yakuza tier list will be an interesting one. But it's okay. It's so hard to rank them because they're all very special. They are. They're very special for, like, very different things, too. But anyway, this was quite the intro section. I think I want to jump into playing Rebirth for today. But we have to continue our watching of Mashina Abridged. Which I believe the last time we ended by finishing up Season 1. Mashina Abridged. I think we just finished season one, so we still have season two. Oh no, we watched the first episode of season two. It's red. I don't remember. The Yakuza tier list comment section, it's gonna go fucking crazy. <laughs> But it's okay. I'm here to put out my very unpopular opinions. I know that I have very different opinions. Charlie, thank you so much for the 16 months. I appreciate it. And thank you for the happy birthdays. I appreciate Y'all are very, very sweet. And thank you for all the subs and donations and support. I appreciate you. I'm very much just looking forward to everything in life. I don't know. I'm just excited for content this year because I'm trying a lot of new stuff. That I'm just very much looking forward to. Thank you, Zuri Kitty. I really appreciate it. Okay, let me change over from just chatting to uh, Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Oh god, I, I typed it in there one way. Final Fantasy Rebirth. I swear to god, everybody finished this game now except for me. I was able to watch like some friends streams of this game because I was ahead of them, but now that I've been gone for a week, everyone is ahead of me now. So I can't watch streams again. <laughs> uh, it's okay, I have a lot of Hannah and Lee streams to catch up on, so it's not a big deal. Oh yeah, Frankie, she's taking her good old time. You know what, good for her. That means I can watch Frankie streams still. Because I was watching her streams a bit the the week before I left. Okay, I don't know when we watched this, but it's apparently... Alright, goodbye to the Persona 5 Strikers music. No problem, Julie. We're going to start by watching... I'm going to make sure that we watched this. Because I'm not... I feel like we... It, it says that we did watch it. Listen to my story. We didn't watch this. this. Okay, yeah, so this is episode 11, uh, first episode of season two. May be my last chance. It all started when. God, what the hell is that? Baron! I was internally monologuing! Fuck your eternal monologue, Cloud! We are in the presence of a living ass motorcycle with hands! This smells like Hojo's doing! Probably tastes like it, too. You're not seriously <laughs> thinking about eating that thing, are you? It's either that or ride it. Hey! A four-legged animal ride a motor. I'm gonna fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fuck it. <laughs> I love red. <laughs> All right, gang. Did everyone upgrade their equipment at the weapon shop? Hell yeah! I got more flowers. This is the start the of rebirth. Was surprisingly adequate. Yeah. Up a Mark V XL Ragnarok saber with a platinum inlay finish. Do you even know what a Ragnarok is? Do you? 
So did anyone pick up any materia? Nah, apparently it all got stolen. Oh, damn it. Even the ones that oh, can thank summon you, thank gods. You. What? God is dog backwards. Oh, yeah, God is dog backwards! Yeah, we can summon gods like Ifrit, Leviathan, Bahamut, <laughs> Bahamut Zero, Bahamut Sin, Neo um, Bahamut, Bahamut I've been meaning to ask, who's Sephiroth? He was my hero. Was? Yeah, was. It was my biggest mission yet. <laughs> One mission squad. Two mission squad. Three mission squad. What are you doing? Uh, you know, just doing my mission squats. I always do them when I'm pumped. You squat when you're pumped. Listen, I don't mean to be awkward, but uh, can I just say something real quick? It's already too late. I am a huge fan. Ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to work alongside you. Now look at us. First class soldiers doing first class soldier things. <laughs> We're so similar, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what's our mission? This is Did the you not read episode, the dossier? Yeah. More importantly, what's our team name? It's Squad 5. How about... Cleferoth? No. Now all we need is a theme song! Hey, look! Here's these guys! They're so cool! Killing fools! Cleferoth! <laughs> See? Can I remix it? No, Ramirez! It's our thing! <laughs> our mission is to investigate the area surrounding an old Mako reactor. Monsters have been appearing nearby. Is it Mako or Mako? Does it really matter? Yes, it matters! <laughs> the incident is close to a small town called Nibelheim. Nibelheim? No way! Many townsfolk have died. Awesome! I get to show you around my hometown! Hmm. To have a place to call home must be nice. Is it? Uh, guys, I think there's something on the road. Uh, it's probably just a raccoon. That's not a raccoon! You met a dragon? Even better, we killed a dragon. Oh, he's still going there. That's Saving us back there, Ramirez. Maybe if you stopped sucking up so much and learned a move or two, you wouldn't be so useless in battle. Oh. You also did nothing in that fight, Cloud. Well, that's because I was making notes. Uh, for example, maybe next time when you're looking straight into your enemy's eyes, you could say a cool one-liner, like, sorry to cut this meeting short. I like it. Thanks, Cloud. He's so The short is so long and hard. Ha 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 ha! And then, guess who I ran into, Tifa? Your old teacher. Oh no, you don't mean Zangan, master I of the fist. I forgot Zangan. Oh so my god. So you know god. where the washroom is? Oh. Zangan's fists are the most powerful in all of the world. Yeah, I, I bet, Zangi. So about that washroom... Would you like to be one of Zangan's students? No. Very well. But know this. If the way of the fist ever calls out to you in the dark of night, know that there is always a place for you. In Zangan's Dungeon of Fisting. What the hell? Hey, you taught me a lot of cool moves, all right? <laughs> oh, really? Name three that don't sound like sex acts. Fine. They're somersault, water kick, beat rush. <laughs> hey, don't make me dolphin blow you. <laughs> <laughs> and Barrett's still going. I was thinking, Cloud. That dragon was probably a mother finding food for her children. Now they won't survive the winter. A oh, sweet multi-kill! I can only imagine what it would be like to have a mother. <laughs> And loser. Yeah, that is a real bummer. My mother died giving birth to me. Well, all right then. Shinra <laughs> took me in and raised me to become a killing machine. The killing machine? You could probably take out a whole town easy. Hell, two of me probably couldn't stop you. Then I became one of soldiers' most decorated warriors, earning fame, glory, and status. But I would trade it all away to feel that unconditional love that only a mother can provide. Tell me, Cloud, about your mother. My mom? Oh, she is just a tree. When are you gonna get a real job? I will have a real job, Mom! I'm joining Soldier! I mean a job with benefits! <laughs> they do have benefits, Mom! A giant hunk of metal on a stick is compensation, not a benefit, Cloud! It's called a buster sword, Mom! I don't care what it's called! I'm just saying this because I love you! Well, I love you too, Mom! She named me Cloud because she wanted me to shoot for the stars, but figured I'd only get halfway there. A name. That's all I know of my mother. What was it? 
her name was. Genova. Yeah, that was her name. By the way, thanks for interrupting my story. Again! Oh, I'm sorry. I just didn't want you to spaz out. Again! I'm so glad they're friends. Again. I've hired a guy to escort us to the Mako reactor in the morning. A young girl. Perhaps you know her. Oh! Uh, well, well, of course I probably know her! You know what they say about Cloud and the ladies? There's a 100% chance of precipitation. She was recommended by her teacher downstairs. Oh, no. Sup, bitches? Hey, sweetie! All packed and ready to go? Sure am. Uh... Thanks for seeing me off, Dad. Hey, anything for you, princess. Do me a solid. Take care of yourself. Don't worry, Mr. Lockhart. We'll make sure Teeth is safe. Oh, you think my daughter can't take care of herself? Uh, Dad. Oh, why? You think because you're Mr. Big, Fancy, Big Shot, First Class Soldier, you're going to protect her, huh? Dad, please, no. She's been hitting up that fist in Academy for two freaking weeks now. You should see her dolphin blow. Fucking spectacular. Dad, shut up. And the worst part, you don't even come to visit. Two years my princess has been asking where you've been. And now you're... Hey, look! This guy wants to take a picture of us. A photo of us? <laughs> I, I'm being sure. Absolutely. Come on, Sephiroth. Get in here. <sighs> oh, man. My first picture was Sephiroth. The most important moment of my life. Oh. <laughs> now say cheese. <laughs> no! A memory that will last forever. On the way up Mount Nibble to the Mako Reactor, I we can't faced our greatest still enemy yet. A bridge. <laughs> Lightning returns. Good thing we survived that Tactics, fall, huh? Bahamut. Shame about Kowalski. Wait, that wasn't Ramirez? Jeez, I get those two confused all the time. Kowalski was my friend. Damn it, Ramirez, a man just died. Quit thinking about yourself, you conceited prick. Tifa, I'm gonna need you to stay here and give baby his bob Sure, Cloud. So I'm always helpful. And not at all an enormous bitch who's mistreated you since we were kids. Wow, That's Cloud. a birthday scene. Good job yeah. telling an unbiased story. Oh, what? Am I getting the details wrong? No. No inconsistencies at all. Now, tell us about how you and Sephiroth entered the reactor. Hey, buddy, what you looking at? I understand everything now. That's tight. So, uh, what's the sitch? See for yourself. Sure thing, bud. Are you done? Hold on, I got one more in me. Okay, I'm good. So, what was that? Dr. Hojo has created abominations by showering them in Mako energy. I gotta tell you, Seth Dog. Is it cool if I call you Seth Dog? No. Seth Dog, don't you think it's a little weird that your mom's name is like right there on the marquee of this monster factory? My mother. This is the sound of fucking up. Hey, uh, Seth Dog. You okay? Never been better, Cloud. Oh, good. Because for a second there, it looked like you were... Why did they do this? So was it hot? Uh, so was it hot? Not before you tell us what happened to that f***ing monster. I had Ramirez buried on top of Kowalski to save time. After that, we all headed back to Nibelheim and I caught up with Sephiroth. Hey, Seth Dog! <laughs> What's going on? How you holding up in this underground laboratory? That's what I call a library laboratory. No big deal. Can I ask you a question, Cloud? Seth Dog, it's me, the Clouder. You can ask me anything. <clears throat> How would you react if you found out your entire past was merely a story fabricated by those who would manipulate you? Not well. Cloud. I'm an ancient. An ancient... badass? No, I am of the ancient race known as Cetra, the true natives of this planet. A 2,000-year-old ancient was discovered, and its remains were used to create the Genova Project. Hey, isn't Genova your mom's name? I had no idea it was so common. <laughs> it's not. Uh. Subjects were infused with Genova cells so that a uh. human with the power of the ancients could be created. That way Shinra, those disgusting humans, could find the promised land. You know what I like after locking myself up in a basement for three days and reading up on my background? A nice cold drink. What are you thirsty for? Vengeance. You good with diet vengeance? Less calories for the kill. <laughs> you just wait right here and you're not waiting. I'm going to see my mother. 
No, 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 uh, Sub Dog! Sub Dog, please don't go! Come back here! Cloud need to! Severoth! Severoth thinks he's a Cetra? <laughs> That's silly. That's just one of my mom's stories. Aerith. Musashi Vomit Legend! <laughs> Good one, Tifa. Aerith, of course you're a Cetra. Why else would she ever kidnap you? <laughs> because I'm special. Yes. Yes, you are, Aerith. Sephiroth's revelation really lit a fire in him. Everything's on fire! <laughs> also, he lit the town on fire. My fists observed it all. It was Sephiroth who set the town ablaze. What? That's ridiculous. Your fists need their eyes checked. The eyes of my fists are never wrong. Now stand back. For Zangan's fist shall save the day! Zangan died immediately. There's no way Sephiroth could have done this. I mean, it's pretty hard to believe. I didn't want to believe it at the time, but something had changed. I could see it in his eyes. They were cold, unforgiving, and murderous. This the was Seth so Dog badass that I back knew then. Was gone. So how long were you staring into his eyes exactly? Sephiroth killed everyone in Nibelheim? Not everyone. <laughs> Papa! Papa, can you do me a solid and wake up? Tifa, is that Sephiroth's sword? <laughs> yeah, Cloud. It's Sephiroth's sword. And I'm gonna give it to him. Right between his fucking eyes! Tifa, no! Mother, I'm home. Hey, you son of a bitch! What's the matter? Separated from your parents? Can't imagine what that's like! <laughs> Sorry, cut. This meeting short. Oh, shit! He is alive. Tifa! That one-liner was for you, Cloud. Tifa, did you hear that? That one-liner was for me? Just shut up and kill him. Yeah, okay, got it. All my life, I felt different. <laughs> that I never had a purpose. But now... Now I see what I must do. What we must do. Mother. Take a deep breath and calm down. Mother and I are going to the promised land, Cloud. And soon the planet will be rid of you wretched humans and return to its rightful owners. But before I leave, there's something I must tell you. Oh, good, you're gonna apologize. Well, I accept. I murdered your mother, Cloud. Excuse me? You admired me so much. And now you've experienced the pain I felt for so long. We finally have something in common. Isn't that what you've always wanted? Oh, to be just like me. Sephira! Anticipation, Bahamut Hots 3. <laughs> so how do you know Sephiroth, anyway? <laughs> Gotta end it with Bahamut Hearts. Yes, the original Kingdom of Hearts, yes. That's the best series in the world, what are you talking about? That would be much not abridged. All right, let's hope uh, this capture works. Any day now, it's gonna find it. All right, let me turn up the game a little bit. Let me know if it gets too loud at some points. Okay. We left off at a really awkward point. So last week, in last week's episode of Rebirth, uh, we ended on Zack. <laughs> I really had to go. So, uh, I... Yeah. Zack. It's really not finding it. What the hell? What's going on? 
don't know what's going on. My birthday was on Monday, but I was away in Boston. Y'all, I don't know what to do. It's really not finding my game. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Whoa! Five hundred dollars? What? Bro? This is to cover your entry fee for the Kate Sith Appreciation Club. Also, fun fact is English VA, Paul Tinto literally made his video game debut with Rebirth. What a way to make an entrance. A lot of voice actors are like that in this game. Like, I had never heard of Barrett before this. I had never heard of um, Brianna before this. I'm sure they have roles and stuff, but even Zack? There's a lot. They got a lot of new but holy uh, fucking fuck. That's a very large donation, dude. Pikes. Thank you so much. Can we get some claps in the chat for Pikes? Because that $500 just single handedly paid for like an entire dance video. <laughs> Thank you so much, Pikes. That is crazy support, and I very much appreciate it. Shit. Shinra will figure something out, right? I mean, they got her. All right, so we left off with uh, Zack and Biggs. Hey, Biggs. You said before I ought to try picking up some work as a merc. Yeah. Because one's not enough. So who's the one? <laughs> Cloud. He didn't tell you? Must not have wanted the competition. When exactly did you meet Cloud? The day before we hit Reactor 1. So... Uh, how long ago was that again? <laughs> Weird. My internal clock's busted. Yeah, mine Weird. too. What's that about anyway? <laughs> Good question. Good question. So, what do you think's gonna happen to our baby? Oh no, not loveless. We've got greetings to No. Treat you and yours to something special. You know, but remember, well, only one isn't per that person. Just perfect. I think I prefer Probably being number two or three. Even Suits me much better. Yeah. Why don't we all go camping? Like the guy who only has to worry about the how. And doesn't have to decide on the what. A minor role? Exactly. The kids. I'm no hero. So how come I was the one who got saved? Because someone needs you. You and your can-do attitude. And who might that be? You were the uh, guy with Aerith, right? Whoever brought you back, I guess? And assuming there the was someone, who could it have been? <laughs> That's a good Come question. On, the fact that she's wearing okay. her honeybee Let's outfit, this dance. is so fucked. She's literally wearing it next to the kids. Hell with it! Let's just do what we want! Start by robbing folks and stop- it's just Robin up folks! Oh my god! Keep your eyes peeled copy the world is so different also can i just say that this biggs is way hotter he's got like a much hotter aura than original dead biggs nobody huh not a soul well at least shinra was a no-show too right who's there oh no <laughs> Hmm? Huh. New recruit? Uh, as if I'd ever join Avalanche. I just came to see what kind of morons would fall for your dumbass propaganda, that's all. But I should have known. Nobody could be that stupid. <laughs> anyway, I'm out, losers. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I wasn't cut out for a leading it's role. It's the high collar. Yeah, the pop Here, collar I definitely I might helps. Have been yes. saved for a reason. Some higher purpose. <sighs> Sorry for wasting your time. I'm kind of not a fan of Kyrie either. Not crazy about her character. She's not terrible or anything, just like kind of mad about her.
Biggs! It's up to us to find our own purpose. I mean, who says it's gotta be one way? Everyone's sitting back, acting like the world's doomed, but the future's not set in stone. We're not powerless. So long as we don't lose sight of what's important. You know, what matters most of all when the going gets tough. I don't know, hopes, dreams, maybe? Something like that. So long as we've got those. And hold on tight and never let go. Like this? <laughs> like, like your life depends on it. <laughs> Why is the he the best? The world's lucky to have you. It's a start. <laughs> anyway, I gotta run. I'll be sure to pay a visit to Cloud when I get the chance. See ya. Think about what I said. Guess I should probably head home too. Hmm. Home, huh? Yeah. What about it? It is good to have Zack back. His little positive energy. It's adorable. Man, this place looks very dead. Look at it. We still got the waterfall, but like, oh God. All the flowers being dead is so depressing. It looks awful. I'm back. Welcome home. Welcome home. Oh. Guess who I just saw? So cute. Biggs. Really? Uh. Said he'd visit too. Oh yay! <laughs> Did he say anything about Daddy or Tifa? Oh, uh, sorry. Forgot to ask. Aww. Zach, how could you? Zach, <laughs> would you <laughs> mind checking on Aerith for she me? She's out her sure. tongue. <laughs> How could you forget? Me? We're all headed for the same place. You'll see your daddy and Tifa again. Soon? Soon enough, Marlene. Soon enough. The plates were a mistake. It's me. The wind. That was you, wasn't it? Hello in there. Oh my god. what this whole section's about. Hmm? Oh. oh, bye. Welcome to the village of the Gi. Oh. Uh. Where is Yuffie going? <laughs> Bitch, where are you going? Okay, let's get a nice party together, shall we? 
Who all needs so doppelganger and smackdown reds watcher spirit so we need we need a lot here let's actually stick with barry yuffie right now hmm <laughs> it's me gung ha ha gungaga see i can just like swim back where are we oh this is so weird we actually are in the village of the gi you know what? I never actually thought about that. In the original FF7, they really don't expand upon, like, what the Gi are. You kind of get the storyline. But I don't think they mention the Gi anywhere else in the game. They're just kind of, like, this random thing. Oh god, now I got another fucking weapon. They're just this random... People... They're random people that exist. At least they have a nice bench. <laughs> if anything, they have a nice bench to sit on. How adorable. Alrighty. Petrify materia sure is nice. Just making sure we got something. Elemental materia would be nice to keep leveling. Those are very nice, especially in endgame. Manipulating uh, weaknesses nice and fast. Uh, magic focus material? Okay. I'm just leveling them up so I'm not like trying to link anything specifically. Auto weapon ability? Nah, I'm not really interested in that. Maybe, maybe, I mean, uh, maybe I should just in case. Maybe it's gonna save my life one day. Luck up is good to go. Speed up. Simple plot device on the OG. Yeah, they don't really do much with it. It's uh, it's a little weird. But yeah, that's actually very interesting if they do successfully bring more story to whatever the Gi were. I wouldn't be mad about it. That would actually be really nice. Mega potions are on sale. I don't really buy anything in this game. I barely buy stuff. Like once in a blue moon. I really do hope that there's more story here. That'd be so cool. They've been doing a good job of like filling in some empty holes. In this game, not empty holes, but like expanding on like the the smaller parts of this game that don't get a lot of story that they just kind of brush over. There's been a lot of like added character well, context. There's been a lot of really domain, great stuff. Children of the planet, <laughs> y'all hear that just now? Our flesh is gone, yet our spirits are condemned to linger. Outsiders such as we are unwelcome, forever denied the planet's embrace. Oh, that's so creepy. <sighs> I feel for you. Can only imagine how tough that's been. My kin now dwell within these effigies. I beseech you, lend them your ears. Long has it been since they have had an audience. This is really I like this addition. <laughs> They're not bound to the planet, and so she rejects them. Because you have to come from the life stream to return to it. Which means these dudes can't die, right? <laughs> They're invincible! I'm not sure that's something to celebrate. Being stuck as spirits with no hope of release sounds like a fate worse than death. As I if you Kisa. know anything about dying. Uh, I mean, are you even really alive? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another stuck spirit, perhaps? We shall not rest till the materia is ours. Why do they want materia? 
You and me both. This is very Why would they want you to? Oh god, that from the cycle of life and death. Take the lead. I hear one shot covering shot. Hell not rest till the materia is ours. We shall not rest till the materia is ours. Go forth and kick butt, you beast! This is great. Gotcha. You're mine. That's the I'll end this. No, 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 no. Okay. Done. Holy, that was close. Ow. Can I go back? So the Gi are not from the live stream, so they just like eternally exist. They're just these evil, sassy, evil ghosts. I like the idea that they're not, if they're not from the live stream, like they're not born from the live stream, how are they born? It's so interesting to have more stories. I hope they keep going. I'm just ready to be, like, disappointed for some reason. I'm just anticipating disappointment. I've still got a long way to... It was our fate to be spurned by the planet forevermore. Thus did we resolve to forge our own path to salvation. With... Materia, you mean? We long to lay hands on the materia of peace. What? The materia of peace? Like the, the, the holy materia? Dying a lot. This is sad. 
need a breather. Yeah. Get your hands out of here. Barrett's just nope. dying. Uh -uh. No way. I need to watch my counter spell. Oh, and you I'll finish it. Deal with that. Mind over man. Keep it up. You can handle it. Hang back. <laughs> Okay. First try. No problem. No, not a problem at all. I am really struggling with these guys, and it's because I'm not taking my time. The counter spells are really just fucking murdering my ass. Wait, so are all peas. Wait. If peas are materia. Does that make all... All peas are materia. Do you eat materia? There is but one thing that can deliver unto us ultimate salvation. And I like staring right materia. up at the crotch. So an ultimate materia? Where is it? You gotta tell me! In the materia of peace, we shall find the end for which we have all yearned. The Majima cut out a chef's kiss. Thank you, it's my favorite. I love that. Our ultimate salvation cessation. It is nothingness. Our wish is not to exist, but rather to no longer exist. Ultimate salvation is nothingness? Okay. A little weird, dude. In the purest of materia, we place our hope and faith. They're just like Don't long lost souls that have just been eternally damned. They just want peace. Think we probably don't want to overstay our welcome here. It's hard to feel at ease around folks whose only desire is death. And if the planet won't let them have it, well, who's to say they won't let the planet have it? Save uh, me! Keith isn't so sure. Cute. Oh, Red. Don't you think someone responsible like me ought to hang on to that materia? So it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. I think we should I love get Red's involved droopy all, ears. Lassie. Little late for that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think he wants us to do for him? Red. Purest of materia no more, with pain and spite made black. Steeped in our one desire, purest of materia no more, with pain and spite made black. Did they create the black materia? Steeped in our one desire, black materia. No more, Whoa, that's actually black. cool. <laughs> if they created it. That's some nice lore. Purest of materia no more. With pain and spite made black. Whatever that materia is, we can't let them have it. No matter how much they want it. Don't know how far we can let this go, but for now we play along. Yeah, it's weird, because the, the black materia just kind of, like, exists in the Temple of Ancients and is protected, but I don't know if we actually ever got lore of its creation. So that is extremely cool to get more context behind that. With the passing of eons, 
the star we called home began to so wait. Is that it? Until at last it was so Hitting them with healing spells. Well, I guess we'll keep it together. I'm your one stop club right now. Shook, seas boil, skies shattered, and time stopped. Few of my people survived the chaos and calamity. Uh, those who did began a new life here. But to the planet, we were not, not welcome. How do we? Not in life, nor in death. <laughs> Whatever. Ah, got you now. Right it Go for it. No <gasps> Take it over. <laughs> Deal with that. Suck it. Suck on this. <laughs> Don't say I didn't want it. That's okay. Hates that hey, on you. you <laughs> Resurrection. Oh, I know I need to get rid of the sorcerers. They can do that. Keep it together. Killing the planet would help them die? No, that That's exactly what would happen. So if they can't die because they don't return to the life stream, like they, their souls just live on. They Their souls have nowhere to go because they're not made of life stream. So if you kill the planet, which is made out of life stream, then they would actually die. That makes sense. That's really, a, I find that like so fascinating. Hey, Bandaboo, welcome! So I can change out... I think Barret mastered his materia, or um, um, weapon ability. So let's change out Barret for... Edit party. Maybe... What was it? Sith that needs to master his? Yeah. I think Kate Sith has more than one megaphone. Yeah, he has the crystal megaphone too. Oh god, we're we're quite behind. <laughs> I got a lot of shit to master. So Moogle Kaboom is what we're looking for. Th I am I'm really fascinated by this extra bit of lore. The creation of the black materia was by the Gi who just want to die because they can't. Those not I'm just born interested the in learning how they were created in the first place if it wasn't through the live stream. One cannot return to that from which one did not arise. And so our souls sought refuge here. Yet idleness brought no solace. Our days, a penance imposed by the planet for the sin of our existence. Oh! And now, our only wish is to be freed from this prison. To be granted true release. I just realized this is actually even better because the Red's father was petrified. And it only just now occurred to me that all of these enemies do petrification. Makes even more sense. From the planet, we claim the greatest of materia, a most sacred treasure, and imbued it with our desire for freedom. After an eternity, the materia began to stir, and thus did we rejoice knowing that salvation was within our grasp. 
We rejoiced, so convinced were we that our prayers for release had not been in vain. Yet the loathsome Cetra trespassed upon our lands and stole the treasure that would grant us deliverance. Therefore, we ask that you retrieve it, the Black Materia, he to our oblivion. Please, it alone can liberate us from this endless dream. The Gi cannot rest until our sacred treasure has been restored to us. Moreover, in redressing the crime of her ancestors, the Cetra may help us to let go our ancient grudge. Oh my gosh. Where is it? Aerith looks like... It is said the orb lies within a place of Cetra almost? worship. A place of Cetra worship? Or temple? Uh-oh. You know what? I have an idea. At least, I think I do. You're so cute, Kate. Forgive me, Hollow One, if I regard you with suspicion. Now, hold on there. I'm friend to one and all, thanks to my crystal ball. No matter your need, I have the right read. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. I love him. He's strange, him. <laughs> but you can trust him. Really. He's strange. Bitch, he's the best. He's the best. <gasps> I've never loved Kate Sith so much in my life of playing this game countless times. Alas, it appears we have been discovered. I trust you will return our materia to its rightful home. Hmm. Only you can end our torment. Oh, the next morning. Huh? I guess we're back? Yeah. We need to get moving. Right. I'll make you proud, Dad. Just wait. That's such a cool angle. Depressing, but cool. So, like, I don't understand if this is just basic bitch petrification. Just like Asuna, that ass. De stone that ass. Like, why are we not? <laughs> I can do that in battle. If someone gets petrified mid battle, I can get rid of it, I think. But no. It's good to see you again. Cutscene petrification. Allow me to sense. escort you to fellow Bugenhagen. Please, this way. Oh, don't we have to deal with him dying? So we came from that. <laughs> Hook, line, and sinker. Those undead suckers actually think we're going to give him back their materia. They called it their salvation or whatever. But to me, it sounded more like something with the potential to wreak some serious havoc. Nope. No way in hell are we letting them have it. Can't let him have it either. Him? Him. Sephiroth. Did no one else sense him? <sighs> no. You're the resident expert. If you say Sephiroth was there, I'll believe you. Wait, wait, wait. So, are you saying Sephiroth's after the Black Materia too? Probably. Better to assume he is. Well, come on! Let's go, let's go! Can't let anyone get between me and my materia! Plot petrification, you'd have to get like the super soft app for that. Mm. 
I'm sure that exists somewhere. I don't see why we can't restore bread to dad. So, Kitsu, I gotta ask, how do you know about the Setra Temple anyway? Uh, well, like, uh, I, I wouldn't Shinra. say I know about it exactly. Not directly, anyway. What's that supposed to mean? I just recall some document or other discussing its existence. If we can get to a Shinra terminal, I should be able to find it again. Terminal, huh? They set any up here? Ah. Uh, Think so? But I bet old Boogie will know for sure. I love Kate Sit. I can't. He's so good. <sighs> I <laughs> believe in Hogan. <laughs> Thank heavens you're alive. I feared you might have returned to the planet. Oh, come on. We both know you didn't need to worry about me. After all, I am the son of Seto the Watcher. Oh. Forgive me. But if I recall correctly, Shinra should have set up a transmission terminal here in Cosmo Canyon. So, where is it? Oh. What did become of that thing? Ah, yes. Now I remember. I was so fascinated by the technology it employed, uh, I did some tinkering. Some tinkering, I say, though it was quite a lot. But now it serves a decidedly more practical purpose. What? You've got to be kidding me! <laughs> oh, well, do you know about a Setra temple? A temple, you say? If you mean a place where they worshipped gods, none exist. The Setra never engaged in such practices. I didn't know that. Hmm. Maybe it was referred to as such by someone ignorant of their culture. If instead it is a sign of importance to the Setra that you seek, texts do speak of one, and of the pains taken to conceal it. So it does exist? Oh, ho, ho, ho. perhaps, though I know not where it is. Huh? And even should you find it, I would urge caution. They were a star-crossed people. To follow in their footsteps is to court tragedy. Tragedy. Hmm. However, we the know rewards a bit. may yet outweigh the risks. You must bring every one of your senses to bear. For then no secret oh. will elude you, however well hidden. Oh. And when you return home, I hope you'll share your discoveries with me. Fellow Bugenhagen! What is it? I'm a little busy here. Another man in a black robe has come. What should we do? Well now, a friend of yours? Where'd you see him? Oh, uh, the village gate. We should check it out. Yeah. I, Red's baby voice continues to catch me off guard every time. Traversing the settlement, speak with one of the guides and they will escort you to the various locations around the settlement. A privilege service offered only to guests of fellow Bugenhagen. Why, thank you, Bugenhagen. Very cool. Ah, uh, I suppose I ought to seal the door once again. Get on that. <laughs> the workings of our planet are most fascinating, no? I thought Bugenhagen dies after this section. Ah. Uh, I suppose I ought to seal the door once again. I can't remember if it's later in the game or now, but I thought he died, like, right after Red gets his resolve and he's, like, not mad at his dad anymore, and Bugenhagen's like, I did my job, and then he That died. robed man is at the village gate. One of my colleagues is tending to him for now. But maybe it was later in the story and I just don't remember exactly. Oh, this music is complete. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you after in need of you guidance? After you give him the huge materials, and Luigi, oh god, I don't remember. So it is later, it's not the first time you go to Cosmo Canyon when you come back. Nanaki! Is this man okay? He is, albeit rather weak. Not sure why though. I know Mako poisoning when I see it, and this isn't it. Nebo. Nebo. I'm... Nebo. 
old one, ain't that? Ratifa and I grew up. Ah, oh, of course. Nibelheim has a terminal. I'd bet my whiskers on it. That was so cute. Ah! It, uh, had a terminal. Cloud, remember when you told Gein attack back there? That I might be weird, but you can trust me. Hi. well, even if you were lying, I'm going to prove to you that you can trust me. That I'm on your side. It's not that. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> We should go. <laughs> Wait, you're talking about heading to Nibelheim from here? There's no roads you can take far as I know. Maybe we can't go by land. Gotta call up Sid, homeboy but Sid. By air. Meaning we'll need smoke. Right then, back to the airstrip we go. Yeah? Oh Jesus. Oh, hi, Chadley. You're confirmed. And relatively close to you. While the signal is on the weaker side, it may serve as a good place to start. I'll send you the coordinates right away. I know, isn't it incredible? Because I remember I've played this game countless times, and I never cared about Kate Sith. He was my least favorite party member, uh, he, he was also really annoying in battle. And now this fucker, I love him so much, I would die for Kate Sith. You, okay? you just worry about getting to Nibelheim. I can look after him. I love him. I seriously love this little guy. It's not, it's not even cool. Oh, there's so much to do here. Oh boy. Heading to the training course. Right, I didn't complete that. And how the fuck do I get there? Oh. He's the best. I really, really love him. All he needed is cat poses and an accent. The accent is adorable, but yeah, I love, <laughs> he's just so cat-like, it's adorable. I can't get over it, it's way too cute. I really want to explore the region, but at the same time, I can just come back at any point in time. Ugh, there's so many towers. It's so tempting. Very, very tempting. So much to do, so much to do, so much to do, so much to do. And I'm gonna do none of it. I know, and I like the focus on the, the relationships between the characters, too, because it's definitely a lot more than the original as well. They really pushed Aerith and Tifa as, like, best girl girlfriends, and uh, it's just way too cute. I love it. I love it. So I will come back to Cosmo Canyon in my own time. I should be able to get back fairly easily after a bit, at least. I'll do a different save just in case. I really want to see Sid again. And also, if we go to Nibelheim right now, just saying, uh, it's one step closer to Vincent, which is coming very close now. And I'm a little excited about that. I bet you've got a choice, but thank you for choosing Bronco Airlines. Sit, my friend. You couldn't give us a lift in Nibelheim, could you? A little far. But not too far, I reckon. The old girl should be more than up to the challenge. He 
we've got it. Let's go to the naval airstrip. Thank you, Ben. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I love that we actually get to see the flying part and we don't just like go from point A to point B and just appear there. We actually get to see stuff. We get the view. I love this thing. It's our airstrip over there. That's a pretty far walk. Guys, I don't think you understand. Vincent is like right right there. You can you can see the Shinra mansion, I think, if that is the if that's Nibelheim. Our boyfriend is like so close right now. I'm gonna go feral. I'll see you when I see you. Thanks, Sid. <laughs> hey, Sephiroth, wait up. Bring me the black materia. A sword on a black Looks like we're not the only ones headed for Nibelheim. Huh. Almost like they swung by Cosmo Canyon just so they could lead us here. Sorry, just thinking out loud. Forget about it. No, but Red's on to something. Odin! Eee! All right, so now we're in another region to explore. <laughs> yeah, great. It's great. It's great. I love I love that. I cannot call a chocobo in this region yet. Whatever. It's fine. Be that way. Yeah, they do travel with Bronco Airlines. Do you think if we follow him long enough that he'll actually walk the full way back to Nibelheim? I don't do side content on stream, I do it off stream. All of the region completions I've been doing off stream. Which is why I'm moving on right now, because then off stream I'll continue, I'll uh, finish up Cosmo Canyon on my own time. I got many games to play, so I gotta cut stuff out of the stream. Oh, thank you so much, Blasno, I appreciate it. I'm just, I just really want to see how far this guy's gonna go, so give me a second. How are you guys feeling today? How are you feeling on this fine Wednesday? They hang on to the bottom of the wings? Oh god, that sounds actually kind of terrible. <clears throat> what 
What's your opinion on Sid? He's my favorite character in Seven. And I liked when I saw him from uh, in Rebirth. Um, Vincent is my favorite character in this game, but I do love Sid. I don't think there's any character that I used to dislike besides Kate Sith. I used Sid for a tiny bit. But then I always found myself putting Red back in the party. No school today. Hey, yo, that's nice. Is he going to sit by the campfire or is he still going to keep going? Oh, we're still going. Okay. It's a Wednesday that feels like a Monday, right? I love your content. Finish Aww. the game this weekend. Saint, thank you so much. I don't know what this is. What is this? Oh, that's the smoke signal. Oh. Embarrassing. Y'all need a lift? Uh, no, I don't. I'm really sorry. I just really wanted to see you. You rang? You rang? Sorry, Sid. I, I sent the smoke signal. <laughs> uh, Kate? I meant to tell you before, but the terminal's probably gone. Nibelheim burned down five years ago. It did. Uh, not to worry, though. The terminal is as snug as a bug in a rug. Cause Shinra wasn't about to let that facility burn down. Meaning the reactor? Well, that's important too, but no. I'm no expert on Nibelheim, but what I do know is that it's the only lead we have on that materia. So, not much choice. Yeah, it's this or nothing. We should get going. I'm trying to go, but somebody is walking so slowly. Uh, you have opinions on the side content once you're done? Of course. Um, I will save. I'm imagining all the proto relics will probably end in a like Gilgamesh, probably boss battle. So I, I'll of course save that finale for stream. Anything that looks exciting for stream, I'll save. But for the most part, it's stuff that I think is fine to do in my own time. But again, thank you so much, Saint, for the two month resub. I really appreciate it. That's really kind of you. You thought for sure that calling Sid would make the guy disappear? Oh, he stopped! This is where he stops. We found the end of his line. Okay. Well, I found out for science. Oh, there's another one. Meow! Is that it? 
<laughs> that was really cute. <laughs> there was like a little tune with that, actually. That was adorable. Actually, wait, I don't need to heal Yuffie. She's dead to me. She's getting out of the party. She's just kicked out. Um, I really like being Yuffie in combat. She's super fun to be. I'm trying to get used to Kate Sith. I want to be a little bit better at him. So we need Kate Sith in the party, and then I need to get... That's my main team. I think Aerith only has one, though. Let me check equipment. So Kate Sith got to be here for a bit. Making sure I got everyone's equipment. That needs their weapon ability faster. Okay, seems like we're okay though. But yeah, also actually red is really satisfying. So like, I've had a couple times when I play off stream when I'm doing a side quest battle, because my main team is Aerith, Red, and um, Cloud. So sometimes I'll be in trouble in a fight and then I'll play as Red. And if you have like a perfectly timed block, you're immune, and then you fill up your Vengeance Gauge, and you just can completely turn a battle upside down by properly playing red. It's crazy. Just get the block timings down, and fuck, he's a god, kind of? Um, and so it's really satisfying to get good at playing red. I haven't... I'm, I'm like, still kind of a noob there, but uh, I'm trying to get a little bit better at using him. Also, where the fuck is my prey materia? Do I have it equipped? Somebody has to have it. Prayer. Oh, it is on air. Okay. I didn't think she had it. But she does. She has a lot of crap on her. I have to get a little bit better at Tifa. Not gonna lie, she's the character that I use the least. You've been binging my Persona and Yakuza bots for the past couple months. Oh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate that. I'm glad that you can enjoy the content. That means a lot. <laughs> I would just laugh if everyone's like, yeah, no one in this chat is actually a Tifa main. Got some stuff. I only did it because I was right here. Oh, this area is smaller. Thank goodness, because I didn't finish Cosmo Canyon yet. <laughs> oh, Bernie. <laughs> trouble walking here. Oh no, not another black robe. What's that over there? <laughs> Too bad. I die of depression. At least you got one. Don't overdo it. Leave it to me. Here we go. Let's some pain. Just like that, okay? I lost my owl. Oh, there you are. Wait, you're making me swim? Why? Oh, bitch, is it like over there? Oh boy. <clears throat> some are a bit more complicated and I think that's fine to have a higher skill cap for some of the being some of the characters I don't see anything wrong with it I, wh whoa what is over here wait I was supposed to be following the owl and then I kind of got distracted I don't know what the owl wants from me though this is a summon thing. This is Odin. This is... Try 
What? What? Did it just go in the water? Wait. It's going up. I. B bitch. I. I. I can't. I can't just go up. I can't fly. Kate is hard to master, but fun and strong once you get it. He is very strong. I was playing as him whenever he got into my party for a while, and uh, yeah, I was kind of obsessed for a bit. And I wouldn't say I was getting, I was well, I was getting, I was improving, but it seems like Sid, uh, Kate Sith can be like really, really broken. Why do I keep calling Kate Sith Sid? What is wrong with me? Just go upstream, right? <laughs> oh, the owl. I'm just gonna go up this way because this is actually a ramp that I can physically go up. We won't hold back. <laughs> Deal with that. It's your turn. All right. <laughs> Let's give it to them. One more <laughs> shot. <laughs> oh, I didn't get to use my skill. God damn it. Kate Seth has a long way to go. <clears throat> Whoa, what is all that green shit over there? Looks like green eggs. Oh, this is a tower? I didn't even realize I was going for a tower. Allow me. Gotcha. Okay. It's on you. Leave it to me. <laughs> Right where we want them. Oh, yeah. Come on, Army. I'm going in. Pow! Don't stop believing. Uh, this one's a short whipsie. You want to take a look? Take the lead. I'm coming. Someone looks kind of shaky. Right. Probably shouldn't use it right now. Get him! You okay? <laughs> Too much? This one's for you! <laughs> Someone looks kind of shaky. There! Tagging out! It's my time to shine! <laughs> You're in for it now! <laughs> Stand clear! <laughs> With your mind? My turn. <laughs> Going in! You're gonna love this one! <laughs> it's fine! I'm okay! <laughs> <laughs> Deal with that. Here goes. Can you take over? I'll keep me? it together. Leave it to me. Oh, right. Go on. Let's destroy some game. One more shot. Leave it okay. to me. Master, it's something. Oh. Or you could just wait. Like, um, they will definitely port Rebirth to PC. Give it, give it some time, but it'll happen eventually. Bound to happen. I think for the remake, didn't they take one year to get it to PC about? All in due time. Also, congrats on single digits. Laughs this week for you, Lappy Loose. Why, thank you. I worked really hard. I was also very sad that I didn't accomplish my goal of just not laughing, but you know, it's, a, it's okay. I guess you just can't win them all. 
I'm not actually trying to explore this region. Um, I got distracted by an owl, and then it just kept getting worse. So I'm very far. Like, I, I uh, this is not the direction I'm supposed to be, and I'm supposed to go that way. Can I just... Can I just... Can I just go here? Wrangle... I can't even fast travel? Okay, we're just gonna go back here. Fuck it. We bail. We fucked up. I went- I got too far off course. Yeah, I don't think I have one for a while. My son gave me one recently for a late Christmas present. Aw, that's very sweet. This stupid owl fucking distracted me to hell and back. I'm ignoring the hell out of you. Is this something I need to add to my- <laughs> Poison cap. Too bad. Cool. You're mine. Don't overdo it. I'll show you what meow, I can meow, do. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, that was so cute. I've never heard that. Meow, 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 meow. That was fucking adorable. What the hell? More luck for Kate Sid. Speechless for got a good 10 minutes! <laughs> very, very valid. Alright, now I need to assign his new skill, which is. Moogle Magic. Use an equipped summons ability? Whoa, that seems busted. I can use the equip summons. What do I have equipped? Kujata. Hmm. Oh, thank you, Barbalith. I appreciate you stopping by to say that. Thank you. I hope you enjoy your day. Bunnies! I don't have a chocobo, though. Nibblehan looks like shit. Everything is dead. <laughs> Don't distract me again, I swear to fuck. I refuse to get distracted. Ibelheim's Moving on, then. First time back since. Yep. First time. Same here. Didn't seem worth coming back till now. Didn't think there was anything to come back to. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Lots happened since then. I thought I heard a chocobo. Uh, I think Cloud? I heard the chocobo. Stay close, would you? <laughs> I honestly Aww. thought I was ready for this, but... It's just... too real. Oh, I just realized that the chocobo tracks were way back. Why am I an idiot? <laughs> they were right at the start. Lugzer, thank you for the 11 month resub. I appreciate it. How did I just walk right past? Uh, 
can either wipe out the enemy or the party in the OG with slots. Yeah, but you can raise his luck a lot so that the favor is the, the favor is the luck is on your side. Yes. Just give him a lot of luck. Put all of the extra luck stats on him so that he doesn't end up killing you. Which, you know, can happen. Wait, how do I get over yonder? Oh, am I supposed to cross that bridge? Oh my god. Oh wait, just follow the black robe guys. What am I doing? Literally just follow them. They know where they're going. I don't need to think. Was it up there? No, that's where, that's where we went though. Do I go down here? But this, oh, this bridge, yes, bridge, 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 good. Wait, were you saying it's your birthday? Wait, I'm so confused. <laughs> My birthday was the 25th, yeah. Yes, I do exhaust dialogue. Keep Whoa. clicking until you- oh god. No. That is so terrifying. To see it completely be fine. But Vincent is- mm. oh my god, what if I actually get to Vincent today? I might scream. Wait, what? My thought. I mean, I thought he got us lost, and cause it looks different. So, who do you think we built it? Smooth, buddy. Shinra. Never mind all that. We've got a terminal to find. So cute. I love him. Hey there. This is where they keep the patients who have milder cases. The music is so pretty. Th these kids are playing the same thing that they did with the kids in Midgar. They do the same thing. There's no need to rush. So those creepy outfits you see all the patients wearing? The company doles them out for free. There's so many. It's okay. Take all the time you need, all right? It's strange. None of the buildings look like I remember. Where did all the people who used to live here go? We gotta stop in all the houses. Hi. Aw, Animesh, thank you. with the fastest backpedal in the West. He's very good at that. Well, shit. A lot of robes out here. Yeah. And look. Locals. Only they aren't quite the same. Are they? Hello there. Can I help you? Greetings, good sir. 
I am a proud employee of Shinra Resorts. And since I was nearby, I thought I might pop in and check something on the company database. And your companions? Oh, them? They are... My companions. I used to live here until... you know... I see. And are you aware of what Nibelheim is now? Nope. No idea. Uh, five years ago, Shinra assumed direct control over this village. It now serves as a treatment center for Mako poisoning. All property rights have been transferred. If that's why you're here, contact special facilities at corporate. They'll be able to help you. Very helpful. Thank you, sir. Ah, but the database. I'll not be a wee minute. I love I'm you. sure you're eager to see your hometown, but please don't stay too long. New Queen's Blood. Hmm. I'm interested in what side quest would be here. The Chocobo Sage! Oh, gosh. A luxurious pool open all hours of the day. Hmm. I can be tempted by that. Uh, hi, Aaron. Question. This always been here? Yeah. It totally screams, climb me, doesn't it? <laughs> so, Got let's give the poor thing what it wants oh. and see the sights. Oh, hey, don't just break. <sighs> this is awkward. I had my memory with Tifa here, and now it's with Aaron. To look at this place, you'd never know. Yeah. <clears throat> so, which one's your house? That one. Oh, looks cozy. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. No, nah, don't worry about it. It's all new to you. Hmm. That building right there is the inn. Where I stayed five years ago. You got the town hall. The general store. In that there? Tifa's house. Aww. <laughs> That's cute. Girly Pops, best so friend. Guess. This is where you kept a lookout. Huh? Come on, you never came up here hoping she'd wave? Sounds like something I'd do. Probably. Sounds like something I'd do. Giga Chad Cloud. If I was in your shoes, I would have been up here all the Did time. Did she not like that? Oh no. I'm gonna head down. I think I'm good where I am. I'll see you later. Oh no. Maybe she just didn't like the competition? I don't if know. You don't mind, I'd like to be alone. Are you angry? Mm-hmm. At me? Not at you. 
at everything. Must be nice to have a friend you've known since you were a kid. Someone you can say, remember the time when, to someone you can reminisce with. I don't have anyone like that, and it feels like I'm being taunted for it, which stings more than it should. That is why I want to be alone. Plus, I might take it out on you, and I don't want that. I don't mind. Well, I do, and it'd only make me feel worse. Thank you, though. Really. I'll be down in a bit. See you then. Oh, my- I have- I have drift. <laughs> it's just having me walk forward, apparently. Okay. Fresh air, peace and quiet. Not a bad place to grow up. I know it's not the village you knew, but it's still nice. Fresh air, peace and quiet. Oh, not a bad place to grow up. I feel bad. I feel like I just made her hate me. I thought I chose a good response, but it didn't seem like she liked it. You're okay. Deep breaths. There's nothing here, you know. No need to wear yourself. Being uh, a parent of yours. Yeah, is Tifa and Aerith could just sit it. together. That'd be so cute. Oh, we didn't get to go in the town hall before. Oh, Kate Seth found his terminal. I see. So, what's the story here exactly? Because for a cat, he has an awfully high level of clearance. Uh. It's more than a little suspicious. No average employee should be able to access what he can. I understand this must be confusing for you, but I don't know anything either. I just go where the company tells me, that's it. So, what's this? Because for a cat, no average employee should be <laughs> able to cat. access what he can. Why not visit some of your old haunts while you have the chance? You oh. never know. You might remember something nice. Okay. I will go do that. The then. services we provide here are strictly for the benefit of our residents. Everything is so techy here. God, it's so weird. <laughs> Should I play Queen's Blood? It's been a week me. since I I've played. Oh! For immediate family. Uh, is this Ramirez? <laughs> you! You don't happen to be a card player, do you? It's, it's Ramirez. No use I know it, it, it is, and my You're heart and soul. Off because you want to play Queen's Blood. <laughs> I won't tell if you won't, comrade. The name's Turner, the top truant. I say, screw Damn it, working. Ramirez. I'm all about That's playing right. hooky. You'd be hard-pressed to find anyone who's better at it than me. I don't give a damn about demotions. Prepare yourself. Okay, okay. Dude's, a, dude's very into this. I think I got some new cards. But, uh, oh god, the Great Malboro. Cats have top clearance, they do. Who run the world, cats? Who run the world, cats, cats?
I Hello, love the everyone. music so much. Dino Dan. Hello, Mino Man. Thank you so much for the three month resub, dude. I really appreciate that. I wish I can end this guy's bloodline. But unfortunately, I do not have such power. But I would love to end his bloodline. Man. I have to sacrifice, because this one doesn't get rid of his. This is ass. Ah, oh, whatever. Unless he replace. Oh, he has a replacement. Oh, you bitch. Why? I'll outpoint you. How about that? Suck it. Is that Anochi with the raid? Thank you so much! I don't know why the notification didn't go off for it. I'll have to look into that. Anochi, hi! How are you? What were you doing? Welcome on in, everybody. I'm happy to have you. Having a little bit of a birthday stream since it's the first day I've come back from PAX East and it, my birthday was on Monday, so I didn't get to stream my birthday. Damn, they are still going. I need to do replacement card stuff, clearly. I know, because Inochi's like really cool, so she has a lot of really cool people in her community, and she brought her really cool people all over here. So where we are in the game right now, for those of you that are coming right in, uh, we are we just so got easily. to Nibelheim. When so I chapter we clock, just started chapter one. I always won. Wait, could you be more of a slacker than me? But I devote all my time outside of roll calls specifically to playing Queen's Blood. I like how oh, I Cloud isn't even You're bothering to listen to him right now. Living the dream. Damn Ramirez. You no, can't be stuck in a video business. game. You have work to do. You're a bigger fish. Hi, Hover. That's all. It wasn't she's honor to She had to raid you. and run, and she sends her love. I oh, and absolutely no problem. Someday. How far is Eno right now in uh, Rebirth? Congratulations. You have attained the rank of Blood Captain. Cloud. Wise, the AI you met on the ferry, has undergone a software update. It presently resides in the Dust Bowl. I advise you to challenge it and gauge its new and improved capabilities. Whatever, Chadley. Chapter 9, she's a little behind you. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That means I can watch her streams. I feel like all of my friends, uh, most of my friends have abandoned me because they are vastly ahead of me now in Rebirth. All right, let's go see the inn. What happened over here? I know, gotta dodge spoilers. That's a- <gasps> The music just shut off? Hello? I'm not done exploring. They're everywhere you look. You don't really think that all these guys decided to get up and shuffle over here of their own accord, do you? Course not. This is Shinra's doing. First, they raise a whole village because it suits them. Then they build a fake one right on top of it. We can't let those corporate bastards keep getting away with this shit. We gotta do something, We're right? We're trying to do something, Barrett. Hell yeah, you're right. Screw them. Hell yeah, you're right. Screw them. That's the spirit. Screw them. We'll make them pay for what they did to y'all's home. That's right. Listen, Cloud, I don't know what went down five years ago, but I'm here for you and Tifa. Whatever you need. If it's too much, just say the word. We'll leave. 
Aww, <laughs> These boys are lucky they got us looking out for them. If Shinra tries anything, I'll make sure they don't succeed. Listen, Cloud. If it's too much, just say the word. We'll the leave. Best. Why You're don't the we best take a I just saw Zack, but like I gotta keep exploring. You used to live here a long time ago, right? We'd appreciate it if you didn't cause us any trouble. Okay, bitch! <laughs> Wow! Oh, Jesus. I missed a lot. Another megaphone. Jeez. Okay, okay. I didn't finish. Oh! <gasps> Cards! Yes. Okay, I think that's everything. This isn't your home anymore. Remember that, all right? That's so rude to say to somebody. What the fuck is wrong with you? All we do is bend over backwards for these people. Bitch! Slowly now. So breathe in. Oh, what a pleasant surprise. What's the polling? Say, why don't you and those robed folks pose for a photo? Cloud. Scared. It turns out that Shinra's in charge of the treatment facilities here. Getting permission to take pictures was not easy. All my photos would be reviewed, and if Shinra sees something they don't like, it's theirs. Just gotta impress those suits with some nice shots. If you find a good photo spot, don't hesitate to let me know. Don't worry, Chadley will tell me where it's at. Way out buck fuck there, okay. <laughs> Sounds great. So we only talked to two folks. What? Oh, we, so we did the, we did the stretch. The Got it. All right. Hi, Yuffie. Looks like the reactor's not too far. Hey, Cloud. Ever been up there before? Oh, yeah. God. It's Hello? personal. Then give me the skinny. What was it like? Was there buttloads of Blanco? What about, say, oh, materia? Yep, I'm just gonna say yes. Yep. Make her happy. Some of them even form naturally. No way! Naturally? Oh, man. You got my mouth watering. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh, Vincent, I want to see you so bad. Something about that place doesn't sit right with me. You mean Shinra Manor? Oh, sorry. No one wants to hear people badmouth their hometown. Aww. Hey, I'm with you. Never liked that place. Just looking at it gives me the creeps. Hopefully, the company's not using it anymore. I keep asking myself, what could Shinra want with all these robe guys? I kind of miss Red's older voice, though. I'm hoping at some point he goes uh, back to come it. Come to think of it, it's kind of rude we keep calling them robed guys and stuff. They've got names, right? I keep asking myself, Aww, you're so what cute. could Shinra want with all these robe no, guys? No, I want to go get Vincent so bad! <laughs> I'm about to pull like a 10 hour stream for? just to go get the Vincent. Materia needs me! What are we waiting for? That materia needs me. Stretch. I got my stretchies in. So that's Mount Nebel. I feel so bad for you. I gotta let the medical team. Can we not I go in? Well, now, who might you be? Ah, uh, that's right. You're the ones Nick was talking about. You in town, aren't you? No. Uh, in that case, you ought to know better than to interrupt a busy chef. Oh hmm? my god. I can leave. No, no, I don't mind. Could use someone to talk to anyway. Then again, I sense you're not much of a chatterbox. Mm -hmm. They say I'm always gossiping. No secret safe with me unless I see. 
Judgmental, are you kidding me? Now don't you go picking on them. Those poor folks have got it hard enough already. Marco poisoning? Yep, I'm no expert, but seems to me that there's two types of it. Hmm, or maybe two types of patients? We give them sponge baths sometimes, and that's when I first saw. Lots of them have these number tattoos. That and needle marks on their arms. Called such a At least I think they are. Bandit. Although we do get the odd one. Sorry, that that's side angle. Either. Wait, that makes it three types then, or four. What needle marks? From their treatments, if I had to guess. And the numbers. Got any idea what they mean? Not a clue. Certainly gets the gears in your head turning though, doesn't it? As I said, there's... Most have these numbers to... Of course, there are... Wait, did I say two types just now? Or three? Or four? Or... Oh... Okay. A whole bunch of those robed people just showed up out of nowhere. We've been struggling to keep up ever since. Shinra turned this place Let's into a rehab a center. Sure feels yet, that way. Right. You certainly don't look ill. Passing through, I take it? If you are feeling unwell, though, you'll have to wait. We need to tend to our current this patients first. This is a treatment first. center. Okay. Just the same thing we did yesterday. You're good to go. See you tomorrow. This is where we care for the patients. We provide checkups, treatments, whatever they need. You might have noticed how some of our patients have number tattoos. No. But the piano. Oh my god, okay. I'm not sure why that but is. But the myself. piano. Maybe it's to mark ones with different. Tifa, tattoos. your house you know turned what? into weird shit, man. I never understood it. Why'd my dad go into the reactor? Why chase Sephiroth? Thought about it ever since waking up in Corel. It just seemed like such a bad idea. I mean, what did he think he was gonna do? Fight a famous war hero and win? Well, he didn't. But after moving to Midgar, after making a life for myself, I finally realized where my dad was coming from. He was angry. And he'd had enough. Everything he'd worked so hard for had been destroyed in an instant. All that he'd built for himself, for us, gone. Sephiroth had burned it to the ground. That's why he went, even though he had to have known how it'd end. I see. And like him, I took my pain, my grief, everything I was feeling. I took it all and turned it into anger. Anger that led me to avalanche. <laughs> the problem is, anger doesn't last. So when avalanche started to become more violent, there wasn't enough left to hold back the fear and the doubt. It was taking a toll. Then you turned up. Like it was fate. <laughs> yeah, like it was fate. A lot's happened, Aww. but now that we're here, it was fate. I know this was the right decision. I don't care what anybody says. It's because fate. now I know they rebuilt everything, tried to sweep what they did under the rug and pretend it never even happened. But I won't let them. I can't. Sephiroth and his cruelty, Shinra and their lies. I'm sick of all of it. Hey, remember when we were kids? How you'd, you know, oh. always be looking at me? I, uh... You're pretty! 
every time your eyes are pretty and when I tried to talk to you you'd ignore me not surprised I was a pain in the ass as a kid I was the opposite I needed everyone to like me all the time people pleaser she's a queen does, I think can I hate that about myself I hate myself too <laughs> Can't really. Gotta get it together. I've never felt Gotta more connected together. to Tifa in my life. I think we deserve to play on the piano. This this one is impossible. I still have to master it. And it's hard now that I have Joy-Con Drift, too. Joy-Con Drift. Joystick Drift. At least my right stick is fine, it's just the it's just the left one that's really fucked. Yeah, PS5s only come with one controller. I mean, to be fair, I think every console is the same way. You buy a Nintendo Switch, you get one pair of Joy-Cons. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> You need to find one that doesn't have a stick drift. Uh, Dawn doesn't use his as often. I also want to try cleaning it, because I wonder if cleaning it uh, could also get rid of the drift that we're experiencing. Um, it might it might help. I'll try. I'll give it a clean. But yeah, I can always steal Dom's PS5 controller. It is very hard to play. Hi, Tifa. Gotta get it together. You don't gotta get it together, it's okay. You're allowed to be a mess. And that's like, you know, human. It's okay. You think someone would brief us on these things? All right, so I have to fight against this dude? He's gonna vomit no, all over his car. It's Leave bleh. the man alone. I can play Queen's Blood with you, if that's what you want. I'm so sorry. This is Dale. He loves playing Queen's Blood more than anything else in the world. Actually, I don't suppose you would mind playing a match or two with him. Just real quick, I'm not the best player. So I think he's been looking for someone who'll give him more of a challenge. Oh, I have to defeat Keeper of the Crew. So I have to defeat Wise if I want to get promoted. I really should change my deck and get replacement cards on here, but that's okay.
What the hell just happened? I could cut him off, but I don't actually know if that's gonna... I don't know. He could have replacement cards. Thank you so much for tuning into a stream peek. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your evening. All right. Win brain. Ooh, raise position by two ranks. Oh, wow. I don't think I've ever seen him this happy. It must have been a great match. Oh, That's happy? Blood. Uh, queen. Uh, witch. That's enough, Dale. He has other things to do, I'm sure. Thank you so much for taking the time to play with him. You're welcome. I'm gonna leave now. You might have noticed how some of our patients have number tattoos on their If you're here to visit someone, I'm afraid you'll have to track them down yourself. You tried cleaning your old one and it did nothing to help with the drift, and when I tried the deeper cleaning methods, I ended up ruining the potentiometer. I don't know what that is, but you broke something. That's lovely. So. All right, let's do this. There, there. Just relax. Nothing to be afraid of. I really want Vincent, y'all. <laughs> Zach! Oh, the fuzzy scream, though. That's a cool effect. Okay. So, any friends here you want to see? Maybe a girlfriend? Oh, the smirk Speaking I love of it. Which, I'll bet you're dying to hear about mine. Am I right? What? Not interested? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you anyway. Tell me about your girlfriend. She's real pretty. Oh my god, no. he's so cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of depends on the angle. Hmm. She's just great to be around. She from Midgar? Yep, real city mouse. Zach. Oh, he said his name. Zach Fair. Oh shit! From Gungaga. Head over heels for Aerith. We fought together as soldiers. Progress? You were here with me. Dom's here at a really Five bad years time. Ago, you came with me on the mission. Him, <laughs> Gondaga, yeah. Where are 
are you? What happened to you? He died. He's very dead. He remembered. Oh my god, I love the idea that like Zach is head over heels for Earth. He's just like, so I have a girlfriend. And she's really pretty. Why is that an emote? <laughs> oh, I think we should get that made as a as an axolotl, so that should be one of the emotes that we get. Right? Right? Yeah, I think so. They said I can't fast travel. Were they lying to me? So like, if fast travel is currently unavailable. Okay, so I really do. Just gotta keep doing story right now. That's fine. No uh, that makes me closer out. to Vincent Valentine. I can't believe this. Oh. I should have known it was too good to be true. I only have limited access from this console. Let me guess. Limited doesn't cut it. Nope. But all is not lost. Excuse me, good sir. Would you be so kind as to grant us entry into Shinra Manor? Don't you have clearance for that? Oh, if only. I'm but a wee bottom feeder. Barely have clearance to use the bathroom, me. Be that as it may, I can't let you in there myself. You'll have to ask my boss instead. Meaning the deputy commissioner? Or the commission himself? Let's meet and greet. Deputy Commissioner Murasaki is up at the reactor, conducting an inspection for corporate. He's due back the day after tomorrow, but he hasn't been in touch to confirm. Could be he needs more time. He's dead. Uh, we can't afford to dilly-dally. Then we'll just have to track him down. Agreed. Thanks for all the He's help, dead. pal. Caretaker isn't easy, but it is... <sighs> Oh, you're headed to the reactor, huh? Headed to the reactor? No luck at Town Hall, I take it? Hmm. Gotta get a key card. A guy named Murasaki has it, but he's inspecting the reactor. Well then, you'll need a ninja to accompany you. I'm coming with. Wait, what? Me too. What? Really? You sure? <laughs> Ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. All right. You sure you're gonna be okay? We're going on a hike and getting a key card. How tough can it be? You'll still be gone for a while. I'm sure there's nothing you need to take care of? I'm putting you in charge of provisions. Then make it snappy. We're gonna be gone for a while? What are they trying to hint at me? Yeah? You're gonna be stuck you in story for just a very long you know, time. Make shave some time off the trip. Sounds like a plan to me. All right, react to word ho! I'm obsessed with Kate's voice and animations. Literally everything. It's amazing. Sir, we've received word about the Nibelheim survey team. It appears they were ambushed. By Wu-Tai? <laughs> Indeed, and so it begins. So Hurry up emblem, already! I'm just Got the new bridge I see up ahead? Why so hot? Um, janky hitboxes? What the hell, dude? Thank you so much for, like, five gifted subs. I really appreciate that. Ah! Thank you, thank you. Yuffie is dying, because I left her like that, thinking I'd be fine. If I gotta be Yuffie now. Actually, eh, we can keep going for the day. I was gonna stop, but then, I don't know. Why stop when Vincent is so close? Well, he, he's in here, but 
They're not gonna let me, are they? I just, I just really want to... Shinra Manor. It's just, he's so close, man, he's so close. I just healed you, God damn it. Five subs for five last this week. Aw, thank you so much, Janky. That's really kind of you, dude. Thank you, thank you. You know what? We keep going. There's no reason to end the stream right now. I'm not completely driven by Vincent. I can call a chocobo. Man, I really should have grabbed one. Hi, Diva. Sorry, I had to get the loot. <laughs> Sorry, Deep, but she's like patiently waiting for my app. The rebuilt bridge. This is definitely- oh god, that bridge is still ass. This better be a new weapon or I'm quitting. Good, I didn't want to end my stream. <laughs> I would have actually hit the, like, the button to stop the stream. I was ready to. I can just like temporarily take prayer off of uh, Aerith. Like any of Tifa's options, actually. Meh. Everyone in the game is so hot. Well, they know how to make a sellable character nowadays. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay, Unfettered Fury. Unbridled um, attacks with non elemental magic increases stagger. Because, of course, everything Tifa does increases stagger. Tifa's life. I'm surprised. Actually, I shouldn't be surprised, but I am. I'm more of an Aerith girl myself. I do love Tifa. Yeah, you can't just poke at a keyboard and hope it works, Cloud. What the fuck are you thinking? These are cool effects. These are cool effects happening. He's in fate's hands now. What is it? I remember what happened here. And to Zack. No, he didn't die here, sweetie. Oh. Bridge broke. He fell, got swept away by the current. I think he's dead. Well, I guess you never forgot, did great you? Great conclusion. That's why you've been acting weird. Wrong way. Wrong. Didn't want to upset you. That's all. Zach was my friend. How could I just forget him like that? Degradation. It's hollowing me out, bit by bit. 
hand holding. You're wrong. You remembered, Cloud. It'll be okay. It will. I know it. She should know Wait. the truth, so I'm like really confused because Zach was. You gotta tell Eric about this. What? She deserves to know what happened. Yeah. Yeah, she does. But let me be the one to do it. Why? Because she and I are close, you know? Hey! Are you two done yet? Yep. Be right there. Huh? Let's just keep this between the two of us. Promise? I am... incredibly confused. That would have been the time for Tifa to be like, no, let's do off the mark. But... Sloppy. How you like this? I got your number. It's so confusing to me. Deal with that. Okay, let's go. memory problems time to gaslight harder but i mean like they could have changed this game uh the game's story a little bit to where because uh, timelines are weird so like this could be a reality where tifa genuinely believes that that's what happened like it like w there's so much weird shit going on that that's not out of the question either that that's what tifa genuinely believes but it's just making me so confused. Why did they make it worse? I think we should just jump in the water and then fuck around and find out what happened to him. She did mention, yeah, she did mention that she was going to talk to Aerith about it. So that does, I think that kind of tells me that she is aware that Cloud is getting better. But still not quite there. But still, she could help him out a little bit. Maybe she's just, uh... <coughs> She figured that it's the best thing for him to figure out stuff himself. Let's not waste any time. How could this thing is dangerous? Don't let me down! All set! <laughs> if you insist! Here I go! Just you what? Turn up the grill! Do me proud! My turn! Bring it! Keep it together! Let me handle this! Lost that! All in a day's work! Onion. This oh purple materia, but I don't I don't exactly want to go down there quite yet. <clears throat> so from Tifa's perspective, she's like listening to Cloud remember these things, but that whole flashback, she never knew that Cloud was there in the first place. Like she didn't know that he was the Shinra soldier. So she's just still trying to figure why the fuck she knows all of this shit, too. <laughs> They're both, like, kind of weirded out. Like, Cloud's trying to remember, and Tifa's like, how the fuck do you know this information so vividly? <laughs> it's so weird. Amako Spring. Wait, so this whole thing is materia? Wow, it's so much bigger. Naturally formed materia. And look at the size of it. Astounding. 
For the Mako energy to condense into something like this, it must have taken an eternity. Hey, we should get out of here. All this Mako's making me queasy. Yeah, me too. She's like, she knows that all of the, it's, all of this shit is fucking her up. Oh god, that's a materia. All of the, the stuff with Cloud, it's fucking him up. She's like, okay, we need to get you away from the Mako. These are old enemies. Oh. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Is that it? Not too shabby. That's backwards. Yeah, 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 it makes sense. Tifa already had to deal with that with Cloud a couple times. She's just gotta sit and let him figure it out. There's only so much he can say. What the hell? Why is there a path that way? Whoa. Oh, I thought it was like a rattlesnake. Just leave us alone, will ya? Take the lead. I got this! Get lost! It's over. It's over. I think I'm all warmed up. I think Tifa's warmed up too. Yeah. I, think she, I think she's good. She's got this covered. All these like little side paths I don't understand. piece together that he was the other guy uh, I think toward the end of the game yeah um, I think she realizes it in the original she realizes it was him Are you sure uh, We're going whenever right they away. have the live stream moment together We're where almost there. Tifa gets Once cloud we get out of the part, then... out of the live stream that's like after that's like far into this three whenever clouds like uh, let's just say KO'd <laughs> wheelchair cloud come on Let's find another route. I think, if I remember correctly, I think that's when it happens. I've already found one. <sighs> More climbing, but hey. I love climbing. Together. Let me handle this. Whatever. You got me. Don't get mad at mods. They're just being careful. Yeah. No need to be sad.
gotcha. He's too far. <laughs> That's a good word to describe me. I'm thinking legendary. Oh, yeah, Yuffie. Hundred percent. Again, you know, extended stream Vincent. I can't percent. say I've ever taken I really want before. Vincent. <laughs> I can taste him. Is it gonna be okay, <laughs> Yuffie? Oh, yeah, no problem. This is nothing compared to what we got in Wu Tai, like the massive sculpture of the Chow carved into the face of this one cliff. All is I remember is that. Scale it. Part of our training, never liked the climb much. I freaking love the reward. It was? The chow beans, of course. Got to eat up when we made it to the, the top. I'll give you some when we finish our climb. <laughs> That's kind, but you really don't have to. <laughs> Damn it, Ramirez. <laughs> I know, this part, I just can't stop thinking about it. Can't stop thinking about Ramirez. <laughs> Kiss, damn it. Yeah, this just turns into like a 15 hour stream just so I can see Vincent again. But no, I think I gotta wait until Friday. Seems like we still got a bit, so. Which is totally fine. I have no idea where the fuck I'm going. Beans. Oh wait, is that a reference to um, Cars? I was supposed to watch that movie or something. Y'all told me I needed to watch it and I forget. Better be a good materia. Warding. Meh. Wait, why does it look like we can... Weird. That's just a thing that I can do. The most annoying to unlock. I haven't found any of them annoying. They're all pretty manageable. Oh, that's a dragon! Oh, like, literally, it is just a dragon. No other features. <laughs> Straight up, stereotypical dragon. It's on Nothing you. special. Let me handle it. Cause it to roar, then become perfect afterward. Take the lead? All right. Let's do this. It's not over yet. Bring it. Ow. Gotta be careful. Okay, no, 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 no. I don't know what that means. I was gonna get Tifa up. Now, take it from here. If you insist. Let's try that again. Hey, Ice Ninja. You need to chill. Oh. That was quick. This is fine. Yeah, don't worry. Still up for it? 
Synergy abilities. Use on stagger. Oh. Keep up. Yeah. Let me at him. Gotcha. Oh. Uh, well. Okay. Steal. Hail. Don't overdo it. with this game are you kidding me it's amazing so far and probably only gonna get better hey cloud i've been thinking we're looking for a guy named murasaki right what about him it's just uh his name sounds utain i'm sure plenty of your people immigrated to midgar before the war some of their kids and grandkids probably work for shinra oh Oh, no, not this shit. Before. Gotta be a way to get down. Oh, no, okay. I gotta choose a good one. We're gonna go right. Whee! A little bit claustrophobic in here, but it's fine. So, right went here. That was the... the okay trying to keep myself on my feet here. Wait, I can go up? Oh, that's down. Okay. So we came up this way. We can go down four ways. This is like four different slides I can go down. I'm gonna go down this far right one. Oh. Keep it together. Watch yourself. You won't regret this. <laughs> gonna pay. How about you show My us turn. what you got? On now. Okay. Don't overdo it. He's never in doubt. What the fuck? <clears throat> now there's only one option down. Uh, at least 
least I got something, but I don't think it was the best option. Gotta do all the slides just like in the original. Oh no. Really? This again? going through oh shit there has to be something we can use to climb that fence i hate this i hate these like parts of the game so much they just lose so much steam is a very, very awkward place to stop, but I feel like I should. I feel bad. I want to keep going, but uh, that means we can just save Friday. So that means Friday is just going to be the best stream. Because Friday we're going to get Vincent Valentine, probably. Oh my god, and I cannot wait for that. <laughs> yes, the orchestra will be in uh, Montreal. I did see that, but unfortunately, the date of that concert, I will be in Japan. So I'm kind of crying a little bit. Like, on one hand, I'm in Japan, but on the other hand, I uh, miss the concert. So I'm a little bit sad about that. All right. But anyway, thank you guys um, for all the birthday wishes. I really appreciate it. And uh, thank you for chilling on the stream today. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for the wishes. Thank you for the donations and, and the gifted subs. Really means a lot. So tomorrow is Unicorn Overlord Day. So every Tuesday and Thursday is Unicorn Overlord. Monday, Wednesday, Friday is Rebirth. So we will be playing this again on Friday. For those of you just here for the Rebirth streams. And tomorrow is Unicorn Overlord. I'm so excited. <laughs> so thank you guys so much again. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day, okay? Bye, everybody. Thank you.